Hey guys, welcome back to the Unbreakable Sentai podcast here. Uh, episode 14. Yeah, Part 2. Episode 32. <laughs> 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 no, it was 13. Uh, it's 13. It's 13. It's, 13. it's an unlucky number though, so we were going to skip it over. I'm James. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I'm Darius. Ooh, ooh, I'm no. Don't, 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 don't steal that. <laughs> Come up with your own, with your own, like, uh, 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 hoo, ooh, you like, you like Al, hoo, right? Hoo, yeah. hoo, 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 I'm Noah. Hoo. <laughs> Who's that? Noah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> hey, guys, we got, we got a good podcast today. They're always good. Is that right? Every single time. Even if they're bad, when you think about, you think about them really hard, they were good. Mm. Yeah, it's great. There's a whole there's a whole lot of shit going down in the world. Noah talked about foreskin today. I'm thinking about it. I don't know why. Why are you what thinking about foreskin? Because he was talking about the uh, circus uncircumcising yeah. my mic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was just in my head. It's just stuck just, there. <laughs> it's fucking foreskin is stuck in your head. Yeah, it's not his fault. Infected. It's probably a medical condition if you think about it. it probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> don't know how you got close enough to get foreskin in your head. It's Noah's fault. Probably glad you weren't hurt earlier. Yeah. I was giving it to this bottle. Yeah, dude. Oh, no, was throwing <laughs> <laughs> oh, He was throwing it. <laughs> Throw some lube on there and just went to town. No, lube. he didn't need lube. <laughs> he made his own lube. lube me, <laughs> Darius over here needs lube when he gives a blowjob. <laughs> you know you had such a fucking dusty <laughs> mouth fucking over there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Let's get right into some stupid bullshit that doesn't involve anything. Uh, so I vaguely asked Darius or told him that I wanted to touch his head this, this week at work because I, all, everyone I know basically wears glasses except for Darius. Yeah. And I know Noah. <laughs> Everybody they, except for Darius. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. I guess Jonah, but I don't see him that often. He, he has like prescription glasses, but he doesn't wear them ever. That sounds like Matt Gerard. Does 50% uh, of the like, people in the world wear glasses? Probably. I think sure. a good amount. A lot yeah. of people wear glasses. Most people wear. Yeah, now I think about it. Most people I do, I know, do wear glasses. Also, you said it yourself. You need to get glasses. You just don't. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> yeah, you were like, yeah, I, I feel like I need glasses. Some some shit's kind of blurry. And I'm like, yeah, we can go. We'll go get you an eye test and we'll go look at glasses at Warby mm-hmm. Parker. And you were like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then COVID hit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. So like most people probably would benefit from having glasses. Yeah. They just don't get glasses. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it's just like your eyesight get, gets worse as the years go on, no and, matter what. The, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a hundred percent, hundred percent true. Um, <laughs> so if you don't know this, uh, our skulls are deformed as fuck Jesus because Christ. of our glasses. <laughs> Yours are too, Noah. Don't Is you front? Right? Feel it. Feel your skull where your glasses like press against your head. There's a bit of a dent. No. <laughs> yeah. Feel the the full range all the way all the way to the back, man. I mean, your the, your glasses dented your skull, and that's that's know. life. That's from wearing glasses for like 14 plus years, you is know. It, is it killing me? No, of course not. <clears throat> nobody cares. But <laughs> nobody cares. I care. <laughs> but I don't know if that's just how skulls are, uh, or if it's because of my glasses. Because I don't touch people's heads on a regular fucking basis and mm. most people that i know have glasses so like part of me wants to just fucking like just give give darius, darius a fucking yeah give him Very, a little like, head massage intimately holding yeah, his it's skull. not happening yeah and it's not happening it's i don't want to do it like sure you wouldn't like my hands to like caress your caress your yeah, i'm good your i'm good <laughs> Okay. Uh, don't sure? worry. I'll I'll ask Amy to do it to you, and then she can get back to me. <laughs> if I'm ever like passed out of your house, just like sleep. Yeah. Are you saying it's fair game? I, I guess. <laughs> That'd be weird, standing over you while you're just, sleeping, just oh. massaging your head. <laughs> I'll I'll uh if you go to a barber that gives you a, a hair wash, like a washes your hair too, mm-hmm. I'll ask them to. You'll pay him. I'll pay him to feel you up a little bit. It's like, bro. Yeah. I, have I to need know. to know. It's like I don't wear glasses. <laughs> I want you to feel awkward. Okay, exactly. I'll give, you, I'll give you fifty dollars. Uh, <laughs> I'd do that shit for fifty bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would too. <laughs> and the best part is, is, he's washing your right. head. You, you really you, wouldn't know. You wouldn't notice until like it went on for too long. Exactly. It's a victimless crime. Yeah. It's a victimless crime. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh. I just want to know. Let me know if you don't wear glasses. Check the check the area around your ears where you assume glasses would be, and let me know if you got a little dimple, a little dent, a little dimple dent right there. I, I don't know if my skull's dented because of glasses. Yeah, well, let me feel it. Maybe you're feeling in the wrong spot. I don't know. If we're ever at a convention, come up to me and let me 
feel your head to see the dent. <laughs> no, no. It's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. I don't want to do that. I do not want to feel anyone's head. Uh, I scientifically want to touch a head. I don't want like there's nothing weird about it. It's it's for science. Uh, oh, so, you know who else scientifically measured skulls? Don't say this. Don't say this answer. We know the answer. Yeah, the answer is racist. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. I was gonna say Hitler. Yeah, well, the Nazis did <laughs> for <They> sure. Did. <laughs> I just the racists sure did. <laughs> well, as you can see from the shape of the skull, fuck you, you fucking you fucking animals. Like God, damn. there there are differences in skulls. Yeah, but it doesn't mean shit. Exactly, <laughs> it, it means literally nothing. No way, your finger bone is different than mine. Does that make you less yeah. of a man? Fuck you, racists. Hey, any racist listening to our podcast, stop. I doubt anyone. Just fucking Hard leave. stop. We don't, we don't need you. <laughs> uh, and racism ended immediately. Exactly. All <laughs> thanks to into racism. Yeah. In 2020. <laughs> August. They, they went, they're right. The skull shape doesn't matter. <laughs> that, that was the linchpin. Yeah, right. They play this fucking podcast at, at the Nets clan meeting. <laughs> Guys, there's I, new information out there. We didn't know. <laughs> so every single one of them's head explodes like uh, <laughs> like the Dave Chappelle bit, yeah. the, the black white supremacist. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you know when you forget words and you have to make up new words for yeah. the, the word? I hate not finding a word that's perfect for the situation. I yeah. do it all the time, freestyling and make up shit. Yeah, oh yeah. You have to. You you got to. You're yeah. on the you're on the yeah, you're yeah. on the fly. Yeah. So I couldn't think of the word polar bear. <laughs> White power bear? No, Is I that said what you want with No, I said snowmobile. <laughs> snowmobile. <laughs> like snowmobile. And I think I'm just gonna call polar bears snowmobiles from now snow on. <laughs> that's pretty good. And like I, I just I just looked at Trisha and I'm like, you know, the the snow mo the the cold bears. <laughs> she's like, polar bears? I'm like, that's the one. And then I just looked down and she's like, What did you almost say? <laughs> Snowmo bear. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's, it's a bit embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, that's that words aren't words until they're words. And that's just yeah. truth. You yeah. know? So snowmo bear is a new term for polar bears. Don't know. <laughs> just get out there and use it. You don't know what you think until you hear what you say. Exactly. Now, Noah had the funniest thing ever happen to him this week. So and I, I was right? I just happened to be there. I don't remember. It was the robocall. It was the person that keeps calling oh, you. Yeah. Dude, and I got mad. You got mad as fuck. It was in the middle it's, of Fall Guys, it's like too. like every other fucking day with this shit. Some <laughs> random fucking number is calling me. Dude, I get fucking... I've gotten eight new numbers that have sent me the same text. And, of course, oh, yeah. I don't respond to it. What does it say? I'll, I'll, I I'll get a lot of it. hey Jude, fucking vote for this person. Like for one, Jude is my uncle. Nice. And for two, I don't live in Wisconsin. So <laughs> you're why fuck. the fuck are you like? Is your uncle me? putting your your phone number on like must be information thing? <laughs> like every fucking person thinks I'm my uncle. Is your phone number actually under your uncle's fucking account for no. some reason? <laughs> no. Uh, so I've gotten this like eight times. James, so sorry for causing another disturbance, but I am so close to wrapping up this Cook County project. Would you mind taking a look at this sometime today? Thanks. And then a link. And then reply stop to opt out. Yeah. And I'm just like. So you don't hit that link. Exactly. And I'm not going to reply so to you either. what's the fucking project? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, one, two, all from different numbers. Three, four, uh, five within the last week. I haven't got that. I've got in blocking numbers. I've yeah. got into the, like, like your Chase account has been like, oh, yeah. I don't know, fucked. <laughs> yeah, like please. This is Chase. Give us your account information so we can fix it. Yeah, and we need your social too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and your bank account numbers. But Fuck. yeah, when I like called that fucking guy, I like called him back because <laughs> for some reason, whenever I get called, it's always whenever I'm away from my phone. But I called him back, and I was like, who Who the fuck are you people? Like, literally stop calling me. I, I want this to stop. Yeah. He's like, yeah, sure. Was uh, he American? Just, yeah, I think so. I don't fucking He sounded remember. American. He sounded nervous as fuck because Noah him. laid into this dude. dude. Yeah, I was just, like, actually yelling at him. It was, like, a good two minutes. I want you to know, Noah, that I remember the entire conversation. Oh, really? I, it, it, was, was it, like... <laughs> it fucking stuck to me because I was laughing so hard. Because he called, like, and Noah called him back, and Noah was like, yeah, uh, who the fuck are you guys? <laughs> uh, and the guy's like, oh, well, uh, we're... Because I could hear it over oh, the really? game we were playing. Yeah, hear? both sides. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, we're we're with uh, the... Like, 
I- Illinois, uh, like, association Dude, for, it, like... it was a Wisconsin number. Uh, but he said Illinois. Really? The weirdest fucking thing. Interesting. Yeah. The area code was my area code, which is it, Wisconsin. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, we're with, the, like, Illinois, like, trying to do blah, 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 blah. And you're like, ah, oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, I don't actually give a fuck. <laughs> you guys need to stop calling me. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what you actually said was, I don't give a fuck what you guys are doing, <laughs> but you need to stop calling me. <laughs> yeah, and then he asked for my address in my city and, like, all of this, and I'm like, why the f- like yeah. why, why the fuck do you need to know more of my information to stop contacting me? Exactly. You just take this number and you cut it off. Yeah. At some point in the middle of what he was saying, you just went, "Who the fuck are you?" <laughs> <laughs> like, and the guy was just like, uh, uh, "Sir, <laughs> I, I, you're not giving me a chance to talk." And yeah. then when he asked you for your information, you I, just hung I up. I hung up. I'm like. <laughs> This is going nowhere. Fuck this. <laughs> like you don't need more of my information yeah. to sign me up for less information, you shit. This number just needs to be deleted. Fuck people like that. <laughs> I know he's just doing a job, but right. fuck him. But like, they don't even leave messages either. And they, like, ring twice and then hang up anyway. So yeah. it's like, the... well, what are you guys trying to accomplish? Annoying you, dude. <laughs> Annoying yeah, I mean, you 100%. Fucking it worked. <laughs> That was the most heated I've heard you over a random motherfucker, <laughs> and it was great. Like, like the catharsis I feel like you felt from oh, just yeah. yelling at this literal <laughs> mook <laughs> with like a telephone, a telemarketing company. It did feel pretty good. Oh, dude, I, I, I had the biggest smile. I had a drum size smile on my <laughs> face just listening to this happen. It was just, ooh, it's <laughs> juicy, you know, like. Lay into him, kill this dude. <laughs> like you're listening on to like some gossip or some shit. Yeah, if he didn't light on fire sitting in his chair, like after you hung up, it was just woof, like <laughs> just immolated him. Oh, shit's so good. I just know get gets a call next week from same number. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any recently. Yeah, you're goddamn but right. I've been not straight after up that. just blocking every single number that calls me. It, funny thing, this week I actually got a call from our HR person just because she needed to know like what a uh, laptop i had for work and i literally slid it on answer and all i did was let go and i'd answer it and i was like nah fuck this this is some fucking idiot trying to call me <laughs> and then my boss messaged me he's like yeah denisha was trying to hit you up for some stuff and i was like literally the one time i don't fucking pick up right <laughs> so dumb. that's okay at least it wasn't too bad because i'm sure they understood yeah like but yeah it's good it's, it's fun stuff we don't have an HR person to worry about, so. Yeah. <laughs> Solicit just, just our concerning. HR person? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I would say no, because there's literally a part where I was, like, vaguely complaining, and I'm like, I'm going to call HR. <laughs> and Alyssa was like, we don't have an HR. And just walked out of the room, <laughs> and I was like, dang. You know, like, it was a joke anyway, but right. still. <laughs> um, so I was talking with Noah about this, because we were playing, what, that Remnant uh, from the Ashes? Yeah. Uh, which is a pretty fun game if you want to play it. The one you beat in one day? Yeah, the one we beat in one literal 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are the things in games that always get you going? Like, it, it just just every time you see it, it doesn't matter how many times you see it. It just, like, like it gets you in a good mood. Because uh, Noah and I, there's a labyrinth area in there. Yeah. And we walked towards, like, a place that looked like it didn't have a walkway. And stones came down to form the walkway. And I was like, oh, I love that. <laughs> Any game that does dope. that, it's just like, okay, I, I, I'm in. I'm in, you know? Like, it's just like a little bit of specialty that's just like, mm, mm. Mm, it's made just for me. I like this. Um, and then in the same vein, what are things in games that you just fucking hate? It does, it, it, anytime that it happens, you just look at it and you're just like, fuck. I fucking <laughs> hate fuck. this. I can't believe this shit. That's a hard question. One, game, one thing that gets me going is when a game looks like it's about to end and you find out there's a lot more. Yeah. Because mm. yeah. I, I, I get excited because it's like... D- dude, you never played Kid Icarus Uprising, right? That's the 3DS one. Mm-mm. It totally happens like that. You beat yeah. Medusa and it's like the credits start to roll and then Hades rips the credits off and he's like, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> like, I was the mastermind behind this. This game's not over. And it's like, straight up the Medusa fight is a third of the way through the game. And you're like, holy shit! Like, That's this is the coolest! Because wow. <laughs> it's just... The, 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 the fourth wall break, I usually hate. 
But when he just <laughs> credits over, no. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, you're super weak after that fight, too. Because, like, your your golden weapon that you use to defeat her gets, like, super destroyed. And you're like, it's like, a feels like a real final battle. Mm. And then it's like, mm-mm. I ain't letting you get away. Now you're wrecked. I'm going to take over. And you're like, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's right. I can't win. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, the Last of Us did that when uh, when you, like, go home with uh, Ellie. Last of Us 1? 2. Okay. When you, like, go home with Ellie and you're just like, okay, it's over. Abby beat my ass. I guess I'm over. it's over. And it's like, no, there's more game. Yep. I was like, okay. Let's see what, let's see, let's see what else we got. And then, <laughs> and then what is it? what's the little boy's name to get rocked? The one to get rocked. <laughs> Oh yeah, Lev. Lev? Lev. Yeah, yeah, Lev gets rocks, and I'm like, okay, we're, we're we're back in it, baby. <laughs> Literally the best part of the we're game. back in it, baby. Uh, Such a good Lev. punch. Just gets absolutely wrecked. Uh, so my the thing that I hate is fucking laser laser walls or like electricity walls that you have mm. to just stand and like wait for it to turn the fuck off. Because like uh. Final Fantasy VII remake had that in the fucking like uh, the first time you go to the Midgar uh, like. It's in the first mission. They're all the factory? Yeah. Because, like, there's just, for some reason, big electrical walls that turn off every, like, four seconds. And I'm like, okay, cool. You don't want me to just walk straight to the end game. Couldn't you have put a fight here? And it's the only time that happens in the entire game. So why'd you put it there in the first place? <laughs> you go to another reactor, and it doesn't do it. Why? It's because it's just like, take two steps. Take two steps. Oh, I got zapped. It did five damage. I just walked through it anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Like, it's just so... Like, every time I see it, it's just like a, a massive eye roll of like, oh, it's this. Like, <laughs> fucking kills me inside. <laughs> um, One thing I, I, I like to say we'll probably hate in video games. What, like, shitty puzzles. Yeah. That are, like, too easy. Because it's kind of the same thing that I was getting at, where it's just wasting your fucking time. Yeah, I, w- I want to say, yeah. like, uh, I just want to, for some reason, I just want to go to RE5. I feel like they had some really shitty puzzles. Oh, yeah, because, like, most of the puzzles there was literally just like, oh, hey, go pick that up and put it in the door. Yeah. It's two feet that way, but, like, you got to kill two people. Yeah, it's like, is that, w- puzzles, when I say, was that a puzzle? Dude, Deadly Premonition 2 has the worst puzzle, it's and we a, did it yesterday. It can't, it's, it can't be. It's, it's technically a puzzle. You literally have three. It, there's there's three things you have to do, and it's the alphabet. And okay. It's like A through Z on all three of the things. And to the leftmost one, it's H. Uh, there's an H on top, an H to the left, and an H on the bottom. And, like, York just talks through the entire time you're there, and he's like, yeah, Professor R must have made this, and she made the drug. She's a chemist. So, like, it's got to be a chemistry formula. And because it's okay. a chemistry formula, like, it's got to be blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Three blah, blah, blah. must mean yeah, hydrogen three it, times, which is the... Uh, yeah, which combines them with this, and it's CH3O something. And he's like, so just put in, in order, C-O blank. And it's like, we literally just had to sit there for a minute 30. <laughs> there wasn't a puzzle. He just yeah. solved it we in dialogue. Yeah. We didn't have to look through any papers or anything. Yeah, it's and like, ridiculous. It, 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 Darius made a point right when it happened that he's like, they could have just been like, oh, let's go to her house. Right. <laughs> and then you, even if even if we went to her house and just saw it on the wall painted, I would have been okay with that more yeah. than just York just going, wait 30 seconds, and the answer is C-O-M. I get it. They, nice. they wanted to show how smart York is. Exactly. He could have done that in a cut scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing just, is, they could have just made that a cut scene because yeah. he could have just been like, hey, Patty, blah, 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 blah. Now hit those three buttons because she already was went up messing with the controls. Yeah. Fuck. One thing I will say. Chapter three sucks. That gets me hyped in anime. <laughs> yeah. Is the trope of. It gets me every time. The trope of. Fighting for your friends. No, no. <laughs> That's a good one. It's a good one. I got this. You keep moving. Yeah. yeah, it gets me every time. <laughs> I fucking love it. It's true. Or, Self-sacrifice is always good too. Just like, just like, or when a, when a character hasn't been around for a while and they show up out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, and, with and then, a level up. Yeah, and then they say, "I got this. Keep moving." Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the classic shonen trope, but I fucking love it because it's Rock Lee. Yeah, it's, it's Rock Lee. It's, <laughs> he shows up in the Bone Man, and he's just like, "Hey." 
Oh yeah. I'm here. Just and you're like, the gates. <laughs> and he fights with Gara. Yeah. And it's like, Oh, remember when they fought each other oh. and now they're friends. <laughs> now they're, he broke his body to shit and back, but now he's healthy. <laughs> it's such a good, it's, oh my God. It's such a good fight. Cause they lose. Yeah. They fucking lose. Yes, yeah. yeah, Kimamaru. Yeah, yeah, and the dude, he just the only reason they win is because he has a heart attack. Yeah, he died. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally an inch from stabbing Gara in the fucking mouth, and it's the just like curse mark kills him. Well, because he's already sick. He was dying. Oh, because yeah. right. yeah. yeah. his fucking. <laughs> Can we talk? Dude, they kind of hard drop the curse mark thing. Oh yeah, dude. After that too, it was like. A soft upgrade for Sasuke for a little bit, and then after that, it was like Kimaru and then yeah. nothing. <laughs> and then and then they use it I a think. bit in the in Shippuden, but not really. Mm. Yeah, Kimaru <laughs> was just before Shippuden, right? Uh, no, no, no. There's quite a bit. Who's, they, they, who's Kimaru? The bone fuck. guy. Yeah, Kimaru. They the... they meet the Akatsuki before they go to Shippuden. Okay. They they Shippuden mm-hmm. happens no, almost no. after after they get Tsunade, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, it's not yeah, immediately yeah, after right, they at, get Tsunade, but after, it's... No, no. After say Sasuke Shippuden. Well, they don't meet no. the entire... Yeah. No. Top, Everything else is filler, dude. No. Yeah. They see... They get Tsunade after Sasuke. Who's Tsunade? Tsunade's, Tsunade's the big-breasted yeah, Hokage. Yeah. She's a Sakura's They get her teacher. after Sasuke runs the away. The blonde hair. I don't think Hokage. so, dude. Dude, Sasuke bounces, like, super quick. I don't think so. They totally do. I don't remember. I don't think they... I think it's the av- right was. after... Because... Naruto has the has the uh, the Spyro, then. Yeah. Yeah, Rasengan. Yeah, but he learned that from Jiraiya. Yeah. And but yeah, he he learns it from Jiraiya on their journey to go get Sonate. You're right. He does fight Sasuke. Yeah. At the with with Rasengan. Was yeah. it Sasuke versus Naruto the before? No. It, I, when they were Sasuke fighting versus, the falls. Yeah, that's that's the end of regular Naruto. Naruto. All right. Because every, I remember everything else was filler, and uh, I didn't know what filler was. Oh, right. So yeah. you watched everything? I watched most of it. It was, yeah. it was hundreds, like over 100 episodes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. It's not good. It was bad. You, you might you might be right. <laughs> I didn't know. Don't, don't make me reread Naruto. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. Don't. So why is why is uh, the fight against Zabuza the best fight in Dude, all of Naruto? So <laughs> like, because for real? Because Kakashi actually like, gets down. Because Zabuza's just... A good guy in bad situation. Yeah. And I guess Haru is super cool, too. It's not Haru. Is it not? It doesn't matter. It might be, it might be Haku. Haku, I think that's it. Yeah, Yeah, because he, he beats the shit out, out of Edgelord Sasuke. And you, you think you think Yo. Edgelord Sasuke is like the shit? He goes out like a fucking it's G. Haku. What, Haku or Zabuza? Zabuza? Yeah. Literally, like, my fucking arms are knife broken. Knife in mouth, mouth, yeah. He's like, I'll fucking get you, bitch. Yeah, because the, the, the mob boss is like, no, ninjas ain't shit. Kill him. And he's like, ninjas ain't shit? Mm. Put this knife in my mouth, dog. And Kakashi's like, I, this is going to be fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the equivalent of the part in, like, Scott Pilgrim where fucking uh, Chris Evans punches Scott. And he's just like, ooh. <laughs> like, he just feels so good about it. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some there's some good shit in Naruto. It's not really in Shippuden. Yeah, I, mean, I think the story that's, was dope. I think the oh, story ran too yeah. long. It did, and that's like what yeah. that's what like made it. Cause, bad. Okay, so here's the problem. It got too like crazy. Every incredibly long running series isn't that good. Overall, yeah, because yeah. Dragon Ball what are you Z. About? One Piece is incredible. Yeah, One Piece is incredible. It's not a bad <laughs> thing. Out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of. What was that video 10. you saw? Uh, fucking uh, uh, Zoro has did the coolest thing he's done since time skip. It's been in eight t- years. In 2020. It's been eight years since time skip. How dare you say that? How can he... He topped it now? They time skipped yeah. in like 2011. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. That, that, that sort of shit. But like, like, Dragon Ball Z is good. But like, the Boo Saga... JoJo's good, though. Yeah, but JoJo... JoJo's different because it's not the same character. It's part. He, he it's got out... Each exactly. Part, yeah. He loopholed it. Berserk's good, though. But, but it's not as good now. Nothing's really happened isn't. now, though. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It, when, it, when a manga goes on for too long... I think this is for any show. Like, it's not even just manga. Mm. When anything goes on for too fucking long, it's not good anymore. Because, like, well, it, it just, just loses its changes. soul. Because yeah. you're just a different person making it. Exactly. Point. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. It's, it's just, just that... It loses the original spirit. Exactly. For better or worse. 
Because, like, like, Goku is fun with his happy-go-lucky let's fight stuff thing until that becomes a thing that causes him to become an evil villain, which is how Super was. And it's like, okay, now you're no longer the same character. You're actually a bad person. <laughs> like, because Dragon Ball Super did that. Like, fucking when they did the, the tournament arc, like, the big tournament arc at the end. Oh, with Jiren? Yeah. Because before the tournament happened... uh. Goku was like talking to Beerus and he's like, I'm going to go remind, I'm, like, I'm going to go talk to the dude who wanted to do the tournament. And Beerus is like, don't go talk to him. He'll forget. And then no one has to die and he'll forget he wanted the tournament <laughs> and we don't have to fight. No one has to die. He's like, but I like fighting. Yeah. And Goku's like, haha, just kidding. And he instant transmissions away <laughs> and goes into like, Hey, we've got our squad and like puts in his squad note. And the guy's like, Oh, right. The fight. <laughs> and like i forgot yeah <laughs> and like beerus like straight up was like goku if you do this i will kill you i will kill you goku and he comes back and beerus beats the shit out of him because he's like you just doomed universes yeah you fucking fight hungry monsters that's good he's, like, he's like but i'll win so my universe that's good that's good that, that <laughs> beerus beat the shit out of him yeah but it's like goku is no longer a good character now he is a villain he is a villain because of that. I mean, he's always been like that, though. Yeah, but at least before, it was on a smaller scale. Is it? Yeah, because it mean, was like... He gave Cell a sense of being, didn't he? Yeah, but that's because he had faith in Gohan. Because he was like, Gohan's going to win. The dude's an inch from death. You're absolutely right. <laughs> but it's it's because he wanted to like teach his son to have confidence, which is bad. You don't yeah. risk the world by teaching your son. <laughs> yeah. God, no. He's a bad guy for that. I would also like to mention <laughs> that... Uh, Every villain in Dragon Ball Z history is worthless for the most part, especially Cell. I realize that the Cell fight is just stupid. Every T fight's stupid. No, no, no. But, like, Tien is there. And they're like, Cell's like, we're going to fight one-on-one. -on -one. And at any moment, it's like a, a, a Battle of the Gods, right? Where, like, the entire movie is, oh, Goku's fighting Frieza, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Goku lost. Yeah, but Vegeta's right there, and he's a strong. Vegeta's right there. Vegeta's right there. He's full, full strength. Well, well, they knew though that, that Resurrection F was kind of like that's what it was. Thank you. A joke. Oh yeah. They they, they knew that Goku and Vegeta were both power, more powerful. Oh yeah. But then that's why he blew up the world out of spite. Yeah, he just gave up. He's like, eh, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, I I didn't see it, but that was like you were saying part of the joke because they were like Frieza's like, oh look at my new form, and they're yep. like. Yeah, we're like five forms over this. Point. <laughs> yeah, you, you got nothing. <laughs> but it's like it, it, if it, in like the Cell Saga, even if Goku lost, it, like the Z fighters could just look around and be like, just pile on this bitch. <laughs> and like even though Tien and Yamcha and like like whatever Krillin like suck, mm -hmm. Vegeta doesn't, Piccolo doesn't, Trunks. Gohan doesn't, Trunks doesn't. It doesn't matter if Super Saiyan, it, it ascended Saiyan one or whatever is slow as fuck. When you got ten other dudes holding Cell by the dick so he can't move, like <laughs> I mean, but, but I, I don't think that's more of them being bad characters. I just think that's bad writing in general. That's what I'm saying. Is that oh, yeah. like they're they're, they're badly written? <laughs> Yeah, but um, it's, everybody knows Dragon Ball Z isn't. It's true. A good written you, show. You, you're there for Gohan teleporting or like Goku teleporting and shooting a Kamehameha. It yeah. doesn't yeah. matter where the it, father son Kamehameha. You it's know? the best thing in history. I've got the fucking <laughs> figures in my living room from that fucking move. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't know. If, if a series goes on for too long, it is bad because it yeah. is not what it was. You should have like a set idea and then try and work towards. Yeah, <coughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> I mean, Game of Thrones is kind of different. No. Yeah, because the man didn't finish it. <laughs> like, the last season was garbage, but, like, they literally didn't have a story for them. They had yeah. to make it up. Exactly. But they knew <laughs> going in. They should have known. They well, they hoped he had, would finish it. That's a terrible <laughs> They, they how, shouldn't have made it until he finished it, but... But, like, how many years of Game of Thrones was there? Six? Eight? Like, how long uh, did Game of Thrones The last? series? Yes. Uh... I think there is there six seasons uh, or eight remember. seasons. I think there's. I thought there was eight. I don't. But remember. it was a season a year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I would assume they made us wait two years for the last season change. That shit hurt. Oh, there we shit. go. Nine years. But all those special effects. And that the shit hurt. Scene on that one. That episode. shit hurt, man. <laughs> it, God, that shit hurt. I'm just saying that even though George R. R. Martin's track record. They were safe to assume that, hey, hopefully he'll finish it the in seven years, right? The sad part is that he would have finished it. They would have never made a series. No, he wouldn't have. Yeah, he would have because mm -hmm. he, would he wouldn't be as famous. That's true. And he wouldn't be, like, doing doing all these fucking cons and going everywhere to speak 
and fucking models. <laughs> is George R. R. He has a lot of money. He got pull, boy. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. He, I'm sure he has access to much more pussy before the show started. Yeah, but all I'm saying is that I don't think he has access to his dick. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to. They do. <laughs> Well, I don't know. He you need two people to lift there. that stomach before the third person can even get at it, man. He's not that fat. No, but it's fun to say he is. <laughs> this is a fucking lazy piece of shit. That's why Elden Ring is fucking delayed, so Dude, fuck him. Is it, is it because of him? Uh, he's the writer. He's, if you don't have a story, I thought, you can't I thought go. He, was just he, like, he isn't writing the story, though. I thought he, he was, was just like... He's writing the lore. Yeah, I thought he just helped yeah, them build the, the story. world. It's not... The lore is definitely part of a Dark Souls style game. It is, but like but it's not the as... story of the plot of the game doesn't, uh, like that's excluded. Like he's not writing the he, plot. It, he's it's writing more like do we, is that for sure though? He, yeah, he's writing the environment that the would plot you tr- takes place. Would you hire him to write something for you, James? I wouldn't hire him even. He's like, creating ever. the world for it. He's not writing the plot. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you don't have the world, you don't like, have. You can take the things. things like the plot can be affected by the lore, but like the lore doesn't dictate the plot. Yeah, but it's I'm like saying. yeah, but it's like a GDD. Like I know things change in game design, but it's like what's, if he doesn't have the fucking thing. What's GD, ready, GDD? Uh, game design document. Okay, it's the thing you make before you fucking start doing anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, but like, it, like. <clears throat> if he, like, I granted, I'm sure they can like veto whatever. Yeah. But it's like, if he doesn't have the lore, how do you make the bosses right? Like, like you can't make a Dark Souls game without having the lore because you can't just be like, okay, cool. So this is but what this boss. It's much looks easier like. to write mm-hmm. lore than a whole script. Yeah. I mean, you're right, and but I- he's still. Like you know, well, he just, hasn't given his half of the GDD yet. We, you know, do we, we know that? Know. We don't know. Said? We'll look at him. We don't know. We know he hasn't. Look at him. He hasn't written a book in fucking fifty years. Well, he he's said, not going to write a GDD. He said COVID is making him write, so I would think that he'll finish Rings of what? Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. I'm sure he'll. I'm sure he's finished that before. Sure, you can hope, but we also know he's George R. R. Martin. <laughs> And I will also hope that I doubt that motherfucker has touched a laptop in twenty years. I will also hope that I'm sure, which I'm sure is like, he's more of the like you said. No, he's the lore. So yeah, they, yeah. whoever's really writing the script calls him for something big and be like, "Would this character right. do that?" It's more like inspiration. Yeah. And then, but also with Dark Souls games, like the story isn't super yeah. like important exactly but if he's doing the lore is everything about the story of dark souls that's what i was saying so if he's doing the lore and they have no lore to work from that is what the story of dark souls is so they don't have anything well <laughs> well but <laughs> they can work on the game without like fucking flavor text on items they want to populate the area with yeah but they have they always have really good reasons for why specific bosses are in the spots that they're at so oh, if they yeah. don't have that they can't make a boss to put in that area because they don't know what I it mean, is. Well, it, means I mean, I don't, I also don't think they're completely like reliant on him saying that like, Oh, I the spear of God sundered <laughs> this fucking mountain in half. So like, I agree before that point, it's like, maybe they already wanted something like that. And they were like, give us a reason why there's a split mountain. But th- like their games don't really get delayed all that much. We so don't even like, know if this until is until George R. R. It, never got a, it never got a release date. No, but they say that it's not on schedule. Like there have been loads of articles where they're yeah. like, "Yep, we're waiting." Well, yeah, everybody's <laughs> waiting. Yeah, I want to see more. And that's why it's like, "Well, where's Elden Ring?" And they're like, "We're behind schedule." And it's like, "Why?" And we're like, "They're like, we can't say." And it's like, "Oh, because your writer sucks." <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I think it's a bit unfair. I got a question. I understand your point. <laughs> That's fair. You you know how games are always how a game a lot of games do the silent pro tag to be like yeah you so insert, you self you, insert yeah. yeah. Have you ever really felt self inserted? No, because uh, never mind. I don't want to say that. No. I was I was gonna because, say no because I'm not a loser. Because like I I always felt like that was like a bad idea because I never felt like I was Link. I always just felt like Link was Link. Yeah, Link is Link. Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't really know. I don't think I, I've ever felt like a character. Yeah. But I don't know if that, like, impacts my emotional response to the story they're going through. Yeah. I don't think characters in games necessarily need to talk. Yeah. In general. Like, like obviously, like, uh, like if the main character doesn't talk, I don't care for the most part. Because, yeah. like, 
This is a choice. It, it, depending on the type of game, right? Yeah. Because like like Hollow Knight wouldn't be better if the main character talked. Right. It just wouldn't. I don't think Zelda because Zelda's not literally like story based. I don't think Zelda would like benefit from having Link hmm. like be like I'm gonna finish the fight and then cock the crossbow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think so, assigning like your own like personality traits to like a blank canvas like that's kind of fun too. I yeah. Guess. So like Hollow Knight's a character that you think he is, and somebody Do else you might think, think he's like different. Yeah. Do you think them saying that whoever was the first silent protagonist, the self insert thing? Do you think that was like that was said before game? They really knew how like games were gonna turn out. Probably. And, like, all games were, like, on the top-down view and, like, See, little I, pixels. Because, like, I understand saying that about Link when the first Zelda came out. Mm-hmm. But, like, now he's just Link. There's no self-insert. Yeah. He's just Link. Like, he reacts like, like I, I just see Link. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, even but, even back then, Link was that way, too, you know? like yeah. what, I, what I was, like, saying earlier, but, like... If he talked and like had like voice, he would have a personality attached to that inherently. Yeah. And by him not having a voice, you can give him like a personality yeah. to yourself. And I think I like that more because yeah. then you can go into. Because I never see Link as a peppy Link, but right. I feel like if they gave him a voice, he would be peppy. He's kind of like this mook who's like trying to go through it and yeah. like figure it out and be like the strong person. And and I always picture Link as be. being grumbly. Would you consider Mario you know? with a voice? Because no, he talks, but doesn't talk. I don't want Mario to yeah, talk. But Mario, like, inherently has a personality, even yeah. though he doesn't even talk that much. So, like, yeah. if Link had, like, an occasional word that he said, I think it would just inherently he give does. him ah! kind of personality. That's not a word. Yeah, that's, that's just, like, a cry. <laughs> yeah. Right? But that is, you're right, that is a personality for Link, because yeah. he's, like... Like, the personality he has is... That. Yeah, he's, he's, he's swordsman, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, he's... He emotes that way because he's, you know, he's he's angry or he's like like he's like I gotta get this done. Like, yeah, ah! he's like putting force into it. Yeah, um, but I know I know you're in the camp of make make Link talk, you cowards. Yeah, most most definitely. Yeah. There's good points and bad points for each. I think. Would you? So you're saying you prefer you prefer games where characters didn't talk? I don't prefer it. Yeah, I don't. I think situation mind it. based. Yeah, because I feel like part of like say devil may cry mm-hmm. i just love dante's i love that he's a dork absolutely and like that game would not be the same if he was just quiet absolutely and that's yeah, why one that's... and two aren't as good as three four and five yeah yeah and that's like the point though i guess like, two because one he he has some dumb yeah, lines two two is Flock the one... off Featherface. <laughs> two, two is the one where he just is he becomes linked for no reason mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like i'm stoic now and it's like why and he's like Meh. Edge. <laughs> don't you but see like, that i've got a coat on it, like, i think it also like again like it's situation based because mm-hmm. like devil may cry obviously needs that type of character yeah like because you you needs that type of character but no you're absolutely right though because you need a charismatic person in a character action game because exactly. the character and what they do is the game yeah that's why like ninja gaiden is super dope but ryu is kind of a nothing character but that works because he's just a mindless murder machine. Mm. I mean, yeah, he is the most baddest, right? badass ninja it, in the world. Literally cutting other human <laughs> beings in half for <laughs> because they're in his way, you know? So, like, the fact that he's stoic and says, like, five words a cutscene works. I love it. That's Ryu Hayabusa, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like, if he was as wisecracking as Dante, yeah, I think Ninja like Gaiden Spider-Man's would be... personality or yeah, something. Yeah, I think Ninja Gaiden <laughs> would be ruined. Yeah, like and like with sure. Link, him like not having an inherent personality, you can kind of put him in any kind of situation. Yeah, so like Mark- every single Zelda game doesn't feel out of place. It feels like Link could belong there. Excuse yeah. me, princess. Exactly, <laughs> and that's what <laughs> See, everyone's kind of worried that's about. That's what's giving him a voice. Does it gives him that shitty personality? Yeah. So like, if Link always had that voice and always said that kind of stuff, you wouldn't like him. It's true. Because that personality be should. <laughs> but without him having a voice, he doesn't get pigeon held to that personality. Question, yeah. James. This is, this kind Specifically of for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, if you, if, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know if you, right, I'll, if I'll you have played mic. this, if you have played this game, feel free to, to, to you know, chip in. Uh, do you think they picked the wrong personality for Samus? Do you think she had a. In Metroid Other M? Yeah. Or do yes. You, 
Do you th- so you think they would have gave her a different personality? It would have ended up better. Absolutely. Yeah. Did because she have a personality prior. In technically yes, because in Metroid Fusion, in the comic book she talks. I know that. Yep. Here. In the comics, and the the comics do the PTSD she has with Ridley way better. Yeah. Um, because like she actually has a moment where because Ridley's the first new. Does it Link talk in the comics? Maybe, but the Link comics are weird. Well, yeah, you mean like the manga? Yeah, yeah I know Matt had the manga. And yeah. I think he does talk. He does. I never read him. Though. He he's he's kind of like a peppy shonen protagonist, you know? Really? Like he's like, let's go. Uh, the only scene I remember is that uh, they actually go into detail into him getting his ears pierced. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but it's actually like a cool detail because you know when he uh, when he like saves Impa from the Shadow Temple. Um, like he, he the the with bongo time. bongo yeah 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 so uh when he saves her she like pierces his ears because piercing the ears is like the rite of passage to show you are an adult in the shika culture says the manga and i'm like yo that's actually a pretty dope piece of information mm. so that's how like, he got his ears pierced. that's how he got his ears pierced in the manga mm. that's not how it is in the game because in the game it's way weirder raru the sage while he's asleep for seven years <laughs> just decided to gussy him up a bit while he was watching him which is a lot fucking weirder because he doesn't have it when he's a kid with earrings <laughs> yeah dude he doesn't have it when he's a kid and then when he wakes up seven years later after raru the old white fat man has been watching him asleep he is just like you're seven years older now don't worry about the piercing i wiped off the lipstick like it's super weird um, but no yeah i i i think samus because like they even talk about everything in that happened in Other M in Metroid Fusion because she talks about her old Matt, like her old uh, like general or whatever. Um, the, I don't, dude Adam. the dude she's in love with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's like, yeah, he. She, there's even a line where she's like, I always called like he always called me lady, but it was a sign of respect to be like, I know you're stronger than this. You aren't your gender. Like, you're a badass. And he's like, any any complaints, lady? And she's like, of course not. I can do this. But then Other M, like, kind of took that dialogue and made her, like, a pouty, like, me, I'm going to put a thumbs down because I'm a shit. And it's like, <laughs> she's not a shit. She's a professional. Yeah. Like, why did you make her a shit? Like, a petulant child. Like, a 14-year-old being like, fuck you, dad. I can do it. And it's like, <laughs> that's not Samus. She's... Yeah. She's a strong But is it other um when does it take place on a timeline? It takes place before like Super Metroid, so, I think. So she isn't no, quite professional. She's yet. a fucking no, because she's a she's a bounty hunter that was raised as a bounty hunter by the Chozo. She is a professional yeah. murderer. <laughs> she like she didn't go to the academy to learn how to kill and be a warrior. She learned from the age of like six. And then when the Chozo died, she went to the Galactic Federation. So it's like, she's used to this. Mm. You guys ignored the lore. They just fucked up. Exactly. And th- that game has more problems than just Samus's character. But like, <laughs> I would are, are, love... Are you telling me you didn't... That switching from third person to first person was flawless, wasn't flawless for you, then? Oh, yeah. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was no, that's not terrible. Even, bro, that's, that's not even the worst part. That was there's, the worst part for me. <laughs> there's literally... You probably didn't get far enough. I there's, beat it, dude. It was oh, you terrible. Did. Don't you love the part where you go to the lava area and then you literally have to get a game over and then your the boss, Adam, is like, hey, why don't you activate your suit's power to keep you alive? What? <laughs> that's not... Video games! You don't make a person die and then just deus ex machina, hey, dumbass, turn your suit on. B- what? Because, like, that that's the whole thing is that she has all of her abilities, but she's like, just like old times, I'll turn them off because I'm what? working underneath him. Why? Nice. Why? And then he literally is just like, oh, now you can activate your hypermissile. Oh, now you can activate your fucking morph ball. It's like, why? 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 <laughs> like, she's not under him. Of a better way. I will say this. I think... Um, in Halo Master Chief, if he didn't speak, I'd be okay with that. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's but definitely his, his a case personality by case basis. is fine because he doesn't say much. Yeah, because he's gruff. Because yeah. he's 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 honestly the strong, silent type kind of. Yeah, he's honestly a kind of mentally deficient in like like talking to people. Yeah. Uh, All he's ever known is war or whatever. Exactly. Because, like, every single one of his friends is dead. Now that I feel he bad for him, dude. Well, yeah, because <laughs> straight up, they were picked at the age of seven, kidnapped, and sent to Reach. 
to train to be the super soldiers, to be Spartan twos. Mm. And like straight up, they're like, we're going to tell you right off the bat, you were kidnapped by us, but we need you. And we know you can do it. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I guess we're here now. And they literally replace them with biological clones that like die in 10 years. So the parents don't know and won't get pissy. That's fucked up. It's super fucked up. Mm. It's super fucked up. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's like, it, it, that's Master Chief, you know? And that's why he's so gung-ho about, like, I need to get this job done. It's because the only 75 people that knew about me and can understand me are dead. Marine, yeah. I will save you. And he's, like, trained to be a perfect soldier. So, of course, he's a perfect soldier. Right. I will say this. Jack not talking in Jack and Dexter 1, I'm fine with it. Jack talking in Jack 2... I feel like they got a good voice for who the character was. Yeah. But I don't think they can find a good voice for Link. And that I, if Link talks and they have a good voice, thumbs up. I respect it. I, I won't hate it. Oh. But I feel like they can't get a good voice for Link. No. Because At Link is point, so... Exactly. Like 20 games deep. Because, like, he, he won't fit with any demographic, and that's the problem. Because, like, he's courageous... But I never took that as being like a super peppy, like yeah, I'll I'll do the thing. Yeah. It's like a not gruff, but he's like a yes, I'll do it. You got it. Like I'm a soldier. He seems like, more like just a normal person who had destiny thrust upon him. Yeah. He's like I guess I gotta do this. But like, how do you make that without being a fucking loser? Right. Is the thing you know? <laughs> how do you make that without being a loser? Because like, it's a really thin line between being like a pessimistic asshole about it, being like I guess I gotta do this. Right. Okay. You know, and like, because if a girl walked up to him and was like, hey, I'm allergic to chickens, but I run chicken farm. Can you throw my chickens back in the pen? What voice do you choose to do that? Because if Link was like, you got it, lady. Master I'd be like, Chief. this is garbage. <laughs> and he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he cocks his bow and says, I'm going to finish this fight. And then <laughs> throws the chickens in. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. If they could give him a voice, but I'm not going to say they can't. Yeah. I don't think they should. Yeah. Because I would love if Samus spoke in Metroid Prime 4. I would love it if yeah. they got a good voice actress. It also like, helps with, like, the theme of the character and that it's, like, a, the same person yeah. in every game, technically. I always, like, figured Samus was, like, kind of like Ridley from um, uh, Alien. Yeah. Ripley. Ripley. Ripley, my bad. Yeah, yeah. like, Ridley is a gigantic <laughs> yeah, he's a big drag. Yeah, Ripley. Kind of just, like... <laughs> Pro tip, that's why he's, na he's named after Ridley Scott from Alien, the director oh, of Alien. Wow. Really? That's why he's got the alien xenomorph tail. Like, oh, wow. they, they love... The Metroid 1 was completely so based off of the horror. So she probably is Ridley. Okay, yeah, that makes she's, sense. She's complete... Like, that game is based off of the horror and, like, the vibes of Alien, mm. which is that, why it's so dark. And, that like, makes a lot of sense now that I see that. I yeah, hear that. It, it's great. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, exactly. Like, she is a calm, confident, knows she has to do this shit. Tired Hunter. of this shit. Yeah. And it's like, that's that's who she needs to be. And you just got to pick the right person, man. Like, yeah. like you can do it. Just get the actress. What's her name? Um, uh, I almost said Ellen Rip uh, Ellen Page. Uh, uh, not Ellen. P <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's because it's because her name is like Ellen Ripley. I'm pretty sure. Like her full name in the. Hmm. Um, I, was, I, I watched she would know. Uh, Spider Verse. Yeah, I was watching Spider Verse this last week. Hey Trisha, can you help I us? I noticed that I like Miles as voice actor, but he can't do angry. What? Who played uh, this girl? That's the one. Yeah. Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Trish is the best. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, they should get her. Nintendo has the money, let's be honest. That's true. <laughs> Shit, I'm sure she'd just do it for funsies. Probably. Like, just like, it'd be cool if they got uh, Zelda Williams to fucking oh, be yeah. Zelda. That'd be dope. Because I like, I I like I Zelda Williams' voice. Can, uh, I don't think I've ever heard it. Well, American voice actors can't emote anyway, so it doesn't matter who they get. Yeah. <laughs> rip it's weird it's they need to though <laughs> exactly it kills me <laughs> yeah like you need to be a bit more dramatic yeah. i think voice actors for sure need to go into like fucking like performance classes mm -hmm. like like stage performance i think it's classes. just yeah because they can only they can only emit anger mm, even then voice actors can not. get angry kind of <laughs> yeah they can yell it it That's never it. feels real, at least on like mediocre ones. Yeah. Like there's the best of the best that can do it, but 
Those are few and far between. Yeah. That was a good talk about voice acting, honestly. Yeah. Because I, I like talking about shit like that. Are there any game characters that, like, if you could change their voice? Sonic. Sonic's <laughs> voice is perfect for the character. I'll agree with Noah, but I'll also agree with Darius. I would like a different voice actor for him. He 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 emotes exactly how you would expect him yeah. to emote, and that's correct. But like, if they chose someone else, you know, like get the rock in there. Just, <laughs> get the rock in there. <laughs> shit wouldn't work, bro. Shit would work totally. He's, you're gonna you're gonna tell be me like annoying and like plucky and yeah. So like Maui. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine, dude. Sonic Maui is Sonic. Like Maui. Be so good. You're welcome. Like, <laughs> No, because I, I can't think of any characters that, like, like I, I, like, legitimately look at and go, like, you shouldn't have played that character, you know? Like, because mm-hmm. now their voices are stuck. I mean, there's probably a few. I can't think of any. Who's your boy that uh, voices Nero? Oh, uh, oh Johnny Young Bosch. You wouldn't want him to be someone? That... No, you're good he, with... He plays a great Nero. Yeah? Yeah, Nero's fantastic. I love his voice as Nero. Okay. It's just that Nero's voice shouldn't be zero, mm-hmm. you know? Like... Is it... Vash is a he fucking killed Vash, but when he makes the same Vash sound like words when he's the random mook that dies at the end of that one episode of Samurai Shampoo, you fucked it up. Like <laughs> I'm just saying, don't use your protagonist voice for the mook that gets stabbed in the street. Yeah, please, like, because <laughs> when he kills a role like like Nero, fucking love it. Yeah, I'm not. I I I don't even have any like ill will towards when i was playing devil may cry 5 and he was just being nero i was like fuck yeah i love nero nero's the best nero's the best i, I like nero too i just but i know how you i know your personal feelings against him you know i i just feel like every voice actor needs to be better because not every voice actor because there are yeah. some really good voice actors out there but people who have one voice you are not a voice actor yeah. oh chris sabbath so yeah like, yeah he's just chris sabbath now he's just i was, chris I was gonna sabbath. bring that up with the archer's voice actor he only has the one voice and I, I would say there's a difference between like being a good voice actor That's the and having Bob a good Burger. voice. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And Coach McGurk. Yeah. There's like a there's a difference in de- between having a good voice and being a good voice actor. Yes. I do think when he plays Archer, he's a better voice actor than he usually is because he actually like gets like that range. Yeah, and he kind of gets heated it, into you, it. Yeah, you can feel the emotion. Kind just, of. Just like that voice on Coach McGurk is yeah. perfect. Who's Coach McGurk? Uh, you uh, know the show Home Movies. Yeah. Or, uh, like, oh yeah, Swim. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. him. That's him. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it works because Coach McGurk is a tired yeah lazy like mid 30s early 40s so like his voice just works yeah like and like he doesn't man. really have to emote because that's the character yeah he's just but like brendan, for Bob's brendan Burger, what the fuck are you doing like brendan? it's just like, like him talking and it's like oh yeah it kind of works for the character but like and and that's oh. exactly and because they, they, his voice works for all of those characters right. but he isn't changing his range yeah you know it's like like uh, uh, Jason Sta- Jason, yeah, Jason Statham. <laughs> Darius hates him, <laughs> and he is good in the roles that he does, but he's not a good actor. He's, yeah, he's typecasted for this. Exactly. So he doesn't. I ooh. think he could yeah. act. He doesn't change his hair ever. No, <laughs> fuck him. He hates him so much. He's Why? terrible. Because he just—he's the same person every time. Well, like I mean, he doesn't. Like, even, he why never, does he have to change? Like he he's never even gets rid of his accent. Niche. I will say this. He, as far as we know, because we did the research, he has never not played a British man in the movie. Probably because he can't not do it. it. You're right. Does he <laughs> need to not do it? If you want to be a good actor, you want me to believe you and like actually care about you and your acting. Like, yes. There, I mean, not everybody can be like Leonardo, yeah. right? Which like, is Darius's favorite actor. Exactly. <laughs> like. There's like that high art, but then there's like if you're typecast and like why not just like fill the, it yeah, out? The role like, does he needs play, to be filled. Does he play? You know that what it is, Noah. Well? You want the real fucking truth? Uh, he's white, isn't he? No, it's cause, <laughs> fuck that guy. Because I want to make the same much money, same amount of money as him by doing just as less work though. Yeah, because right. he doesn't do any fuck. He shows up. He remembers his lines. He shows up. <laughs> he doesn't change his accent. He doesn't even try, and he makes millions of dollars. Fuck him. Like, I mean, get to Hollywood. <laughs> I don't. He's been. He's had I don't think it's every that big of a fucking deal. movie. I don't it's the same hairstyle because he doesn't even. He's the same person. Well, he's also like exactly. balding as fuck. But like, so. but like, 
somebody needs to fill that character. Does he do that character well? I think so. He does so an all right, why, mediocre why job. This dude, that's okay. Why not like give him that role then? Give me like, the role. So he so doesn't need to answer. play the fucking protagonist of like a Disney movie. Yeah. The the, the answer I would give to you and it's the same reason why I would say this exact same thing for voice acting is we need more actors than the five that they choose. Yeah. So like the reason to change him is because get someone new, man. A variety. Exactly. Yeah. Like give us give us a new set of actors. Yeah. Please. Same with voice acting. Troy Baker is great. But he is every character under the sun. Please hire someone new. I think his hype is finally slowing down. Oh, it is. Troy sure. Baker in Death Stranding was really good. When yeah. He was, he was Goldman? Yeah. Yeah. I still need to plug and play that game. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Next <laughs> yeah, time it goes on it sale me. on PC, I'll, I'll play it. It's, yeah, not bad. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I just, I just want it. Pro tip, play it on the easiest difficulty. Because it doesn't fucking change. There's no achievement for beating it on hard, and you're making your life harder for no reason. Yep. When, like, the entire point of it is kind of just watching a movie anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you were saying. <laughs> when it first came out, you are like, just yeah, it's not every Metal Gear game. Like, yeah. it's not <laughs> unfun. It's just you probably shouldn't play it looking for a fun gameplay experience. Yeah. yeah I, I've, I've, played, I've played the hardest difficulty on the Metal Gear games. They at least yeah. play fun. The story was cool and all that. Yeah. And the actors were amazing. Uh, fucking Guillermo del Toro is making a po- Pinocchio movie. What? Fucking stop motion, boy. What? It's going to be crazy. It's fucking stop weird. motion? Stop motion Pinocchio movie. I feel like that's the only way to Oof. make a Pinocchio movie. Because he's, he's a puppet. Shit looks good. I, I don't know if there's a trailer, but I saw like a picture of him like holding what looked like the armature for Pinocchio. That's he, dope. He looked like he was like made out of... like. Now here's a question: Wood and it's like all like frayed. Is it a Disney movie or is it? Because Pinocchio's not owned by Disney. It's not. It's free. Oh yeah. So I just Uh, didn't know if it was like this was them making their thing. I doubt they'll. I doubt they're gonna let him make a Disney movie. I mean, they let him make a Disney movie. It's true, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so. (laughs) Darius looked slightly confused because I thought someone told me that Tim Burton didn't like direct that movie. What Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, I think he just like wrote it or something or produced it or something yeah. i don't fucking know i don't mm-hmm. actually like that movie all that much it's fine it's got good music the, but like the style is like, very cool yeah i, like I just it. don't like the story so like put the music in a line it's because jack is jack's kind of yeah he is <laughs> he's fucking just a fucking narrow-sided asshole, asshole. <laughs> yeah <laughs> for a majority hey sally of fuck you make me a santa yeah. outfit yeah. let's ruin everything hey. by trying to do christmas this year yeah and like i love how he's like literally like hey you sew yourself all the time right because you fall <laughs> apart and you suck make me a santa costume and then he slaps yeah. the back of her head and goes to christmas time like <laughs> he's just so good that he's bored so he's like fuck it i'm just gonna be really good at this too yep Jesus. Yeah, the character designs are definitely the best part about that movie. Absolutely. You know what the best part about that movie is? Uh, that it got two worlds in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah? Yep. Nice. It did. Does that make you want to play Kingdom Hearts now? Nope. No. Hopefully we, it'll we make him want to sit in. We tried. <laughs> no, no one will sit in. He co- He complains, but like he'll be in for at least a bit, you know? <laughs> Man, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we won't do it yet. You'll think about it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get you in there. You Even if I got to give you a tug job yes. while we do it. If I have to tug you the whole gameplay, I'll do it, Noah. Okay? <laughs> like, um, so there's new. Painful. Yeah. Yeah. After <laughs> 26 hours of tugging. Uh, Don't you want to see Edgy Cloud with uh, bandages on his sword and no. a claw arm? You know my favorite part no. of Does that? Does he have a outfit? wing? Yeah, of course he has a wing. Yeah, yeah the cloud, had get, cloud gets a wing. Good thing he's only in there for 30 minutes. Do you know what the Man, best part about the what? design is? <laughs> what? Do you know why they designed him like that? With the bandages and yeah. the sword? Why? Because they wanted fucking they wanted to put Vincent and Cloud in, but they couldn't figure out a good place to put Vincent in. They couldn't so they, figure out a place to they put mixed them together. So sure. they made Cloud have Vincent's outfit and called it a day. That's why he's got the one dumb golden glove and the <laughs> red cape. Like they just said fuck it and mixed them together and then moved on. And it's like, yeah, I guess that counts, but like I'm surprised they didn't just throw Vincent in there because why the fuck? I'm not going to lie, James. I like that design. It's not bad. <laughs> I like this design. I I got the code for it when I played uh Final Fantasy Dissidia. Mm-hmm. It was a, it was an unlockable oh, that outfit, oh, nice. and I played. I use that I, whenever I use Cloud, <laughs> which was like three times because I just use Squall every single fucking time. Um, 
Don't you want to see Squall with weird longer hair for no reason? Is. He's older, bro. <laughs> That's fine. He's oh just... no, sorry, Leon. <laughs> yeah, his name is Leon. Yeah. <laughs> Why was he using a fake name? I don't know. Because one character, Who's that to? <laughs> one character straight up calls him Squall, and they're like, "Oh, you're Leon now," and he just goes. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be. He's the only Final Fantasy character that changes his name. Yeah. He's the only one. But it, does the Final Fantasy 8 end with him being Chaser? Who's after him? No. It ends with him, like, <laughs> at a party. Is he just that edgy? <laughs> He's not either in the game. That's the weirdest part. Sounds miserable. It, it sounds it's, great. It's, great. <laughs> it's a great game. <laughs> Noah, we need you there to shit on it and ruin our parade. That's the fun. Because <laughs> I will shit on it with you. <laughs> Uh, so Skullgirls is getting a new character in 2021, which is fucking weird considering yeah, Mike's But it's Z's. mobile only, I think? Nope, it's it, it's coming out on mobile first, okay. but then it is coming to the rest of the oh, Skullgirls is on mobile? Yeah. Like the one post I saw about it's it was weird. like... Why would you want to play that on mobile? mobile? I have no idea why you want to play a fighting game on mobile. No. It's probably like auto-comboed too or some shit. Probably, just tap yeah. right and tap left. Yeah. Probably can't even move left and right. <laughs> How do you even do inputs on a fucking, like... Right. Um, They're trying to make as much money off they, as they can off that game. Well, they made zero, so yes. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. It's Annie, which is the girl with the eye patch yeah. who's all teal. Yeah. Um, which was the, she was the next in line of DLC. She was like the top of the like we want her in things. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like yeah, it's cool that they're putting her in. Like I respect it. Um, it'd be like if fucking Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom got a new character tomorrow though, which is like why you know like <laughs> yeah. if they're like hey guys we know infinite fucked up we put a new character into ultimate yeah. go back that way <laughs> you like venom right yeah right <laughs> <laughs> is venom not in that game he's in infinite he but he was a dlc yeah, okay. he wasn't ultimate which is stupid because uh he's in the story mode of infinite yeah but he's not a playable character it's unless ridiculous. you buy the dlc same with the monster hunter you saw yeah. characters just need to be in I, I understand, like, the red tape and shit that goes along with it. But, but fuck you. Don't make the fucking game unless these characters can be in it. Exactly. Don't put them in a storyline. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If you cannot put in Wolverine, do not make a Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, we don't need all these yeah. B-sides with shitty movesets. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Um, Dante is going to be in... Uh, uh, Shimami Tensei 3. Yeah, now featuring Dante. Yeah, now featuring Dante. They, they, they <laughs> tweeted that joke. Did they? And they nice. tweeted the fucking sticker, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Um, but it's $10 DLC. Just for Dante? Just for Dante. Uh, yeah. Are you, it, you going to do it? No. Oh. It, it depends. Um, okay, Noah's going to leave. He doesn't care about Nocturne anyway, so it'll be fine. Yeah, yep, you will. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, no, I was, I was talking about this, I think, with, with somebody the uh, it makes sense that he is ten dollar dlc how because they're adding voice acting for every character and that game had no voice acting so you gotta pay for so you have to pay for dante to have voice acting i get it voice acting's expensive and if you're gonna add him at that rate i say just have whoever you got on staff and do your best dante impersonation but no one would buy it if but he's like, does does he the, have a lot of lines? He has a good number of lines. He's he's a main part of the true ending. So and you, he's a part you need of, to buy that to get the true ending? No, no, no. Because no. the base one comes with Raido, which is in the Japanese version, Raido played Dante's part. Okay. But it was Japan only. And Dante was like in the Ultimax version or whatever it's called. For America. For America, yeah. So like, because um, like all Shinobi Tensei games kind of like there were two versions. Mm-hmm. Um, where they released it, and then they were like, "We did bug fixes. Here's the Ultimax version. You know, whatever. Fuck I mean, it. It's PS2. We don't have the internet. Um, <laughs> that's Atlas for you. Yep. So like, I get it because if they were like Dante's in the game, I'd be like, dope. And then they were like, his voice actor is not uh, uh Ruben Langdon. I'd be like, I'm not gonna use him. It was a waste. <laughs> if it's not voiced by Ruben Langdon, Dante shouldn't be in. Yeah. So they're clearly paying to have Ruben Langdon come and be the voice actor so that we can... I mean, that's an easy check for him. Exactly. I mean, literally come in for one day. It's also kind of weird, though, because that Dante is based off of Devil May Cry 2 Dante. So uh, if they didn't... His personality isn't like that. Oh, well, okay. Though. He's a little bit more serious, so just, just but just he's close. not. Yeah. Okay. So Ruben didn't voice Devil May Cry 2 Dante. So if they didn't get Ruben, I actually can't be upset. 
because that wasn't Ruben yet. But I would still well, be yeah, upset. But they, they're gonna get. They're gonna get him. <laughs> exactly. So like, I get it. Like, I get why it's ten dollars. I probably won't buy it because. You, are you are you sure not getting anything else? Yeah, I, I think it adds like a different game mode. Um, but like, yeah, it's, no, it doesn't really matter. What's the gameplay you got? Is it RTS? No, it's an R- it's an RPG. Oh. It's it's just it's like Persona Five, but uh, you have to use your brain. I use my brain in Persona 5, James. One enemy is weak to ice, and I use it. So, that's true. But, if the enemy gets a weak point attack on you, you still have 30 turns before it kills you. If an enemy weak point attacks you in fucking Shimami Tensei, you gotta fucking play hustle. (laughs) (laughs) You, You gotta use some whatever. And, like, how many times did you really use Power Charge or fucking Tetracarn to, like, reflect physical abilities? I don't know what Tetracarn is. Exactly. <laughs> if you don't use those in an SMT game, you are dead. They will kill you, and they're designed to do that. I think they'll make it easier. Uh, there is an easy mode, um, but, like, it's just a difficulty. Sure. And, I, and nobody knows what it does yet, but they assume that it's just going to change the damage values and, like, maybe change the XP value. Sure. Which is, like, whatever. It's an RPG. That's all you need to do. Like, you don't need to... <laughs> go fucking whole hog on it you know um but yeah uh it 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 makes sense the the ten dollars um because like you left when i was saying it, i think but the dlc was done yeah Yeah. they're adding voice acting to all the characters and there wasn't voice acting before so they have to pay a voice actor yeah and since he's important to the true ending he has a good number of lines oh and like voice acting is expensive so if you get ruben the dude who plays devil may cart like dante yeah yeah, he's booth time is expensive. Yeah, so I get it. If it is Ruben, they haven't confirmed if it is or isn't. I'm sure it is. Um, Brian Lee O'Malley, the dude who made Scott Pilgrim, finally got contacted by Ubisoft. Yeah, so we might that get interesting. yeah, we might get a re-release of the Scott Pilgrim game, which should would be, be neat. Nice. Um, I own it, so we should totally do a one-off sometime on 360. Sure. I just don't have enough 360 controllers, so we'll nice. have to pick some up. You can sell that 360 for a billion dollars. Sure could. It's the <laughs> Halo Reach one. I have both controllers, too. Oh, nice. Yep. Because I had an original one, and then that one died, and I was like, mm. I'm getting Reach anyway. I think my first 360 was the <laughs> Halo 3 edition, and Ooh. when I got the Slim, I Lucky got the bitch. Gears one. Ugh. Oh, you got the, the Red Gears one? Yeah. I had that one. Gross. Oh, it was nice. Yeah. Filthy casuals. <laughs> oh. Gears it looks all right. I never even played it's, it. Like, the red color was nice. You never even played yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> was that Gears 3 or Gears 2? Gears 3, yeah. 3, I believe, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Gears so yeah. is mediocre. It sure is. I mean, it was fun but for when it came out. 2 yeah. was fun. 1 and 2 definitely cool. changed the face of third-person shooters. Yeah, but then it's just the Yo, same Do you remember when Cliffy like was like, yeah, stop and pop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cold train. Roadie run. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I invented the stop and pop system. It's like, y- you dude. didn't invent it, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> Games have been doing this. You're just trying yeah, to you say just had you a button. <laughs> I love Cole. Like, he's the best part of all those games. Yeah. The Cole train runs on whole train, train, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who did they get to voice him? Because he did a fucking no stellar job. It uh, had to be an actual football yeah, player. I, I, I don't think he's a fo- He's an actor. I don't know his name because I'm bad with names, but fucking, I've got to look it up now. Uh, Cole Train, Gears, Gears, voice actor, Lester Spite. Lester Spite. Damn, he looks like I like his. I like his look. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a big motherfucker. <laughs> he's. Dang. Jesus Christ. Yo, this dude fucking built. Oh my god. <laughs> the fuck is that yeah, they just 3d scanned him into the game <laughs> why not when he looks like that <laughs> yeah. um yeah good on him he looks he looks great and he fucking fills the parts it's, it's yeah. felt, man. have i ever told you guys my dumb gamestop story with fucking gears of war maybe were you there for the release of gears 3 yes but it was great so uh uh i'm not gonna blow his asshole out i'm just gonna call him brandon a uh brandon a loved gears of war and was a total fucking loser and literally was there <laughs> cappy? from huh cappy no, oh. no, that's cool, Brandon. Okay. Uh, sorry, that's Henry. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, Brandon A. Fucking uh, total, total loser. Loved, loved Gears of War, and he went to GameStop. He skipped his classes. He went to GameStop at open, and stayed at GameStop until the midnight release. God damn. At open like eight a.m. Yes. Or? 
just the fuck? waiting for the game. Was anyone else Dude, I would have handed no. him a copy and said, get the fuck yeah, out of here. leave my fucking <laughs> <in the> store. <laughs> <laughs> so I worked in the morning, and then Sean worked at night. And we're like, when he, he, he didn't have to work for the midnight, though. Hmm. And neither of us were picking up the game. We didn't care, and all the losers were there. But we wanted to, like, support the people who had to work the midnight. So we stayed, just be like, hey, man, like, sure. talk to us. If anyone comes in who's, like, from corporate, you're talking to a customer. You don't have to talk to those fucking incels. Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> fine. Um, and there was a tournament. And we were like, fuck it. Like, let's join up the tournament. We haven't played Gears in two years. We're going to lose, but at least we'll have fun. Yeah. So Brandon A loses round one. That's rough. That's rough. And Real he's like, rough. I'm tired. And we're like, yeah, no shit, stupid. You were here at 8 a.m. for no good goddamn reason. Yeah. Go home. Like, Sean. I didn't get nothing to do. Dude, fucking embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. Imagine sitting there for fucking what? How long? 13 Literally. hours like. 16 hours 16 hours <laughs> 8 a.m to for your midnight. favorite game and scrubbing out round one round one <laughs> he's like i'm tired i'm just not whatever it's rough and like we had prizes to win and whatever fucking sean and i are on opposite sides of the bracket and we make it to finals not having played gears in two years holy shit and we just look at each other and we're like we don't care man <laughs> so like all of you are like oh my god this is gonna be so good it's like sudden death because we only had one life and we're like oh my god and then we just literally walk up and we like looked at each other and lined up with each other and dodge rolled at the same time into the electrical fence and sean ended up winning because i guess his model clipped it last sure and they were like what and we're like yeah we don't give a fuck who wants these <laughs> prizes these prizes suck yeah and we just toss the prizes it like <laughs> and shit. yeah it was like like it was like a fucking the the countdown clock timer like the mm. countdown to blah 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 with oh, the God. dumb gears characters on it and we just threw that and we threw a shirt at another dude and we're like nice. fucking whatever you goddamn losers and then we walked out so like it felt like gregor joined the channel where we just walked in no one knew us we killed everyone and then walked out like you guys are fucking pansies like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like if daigo showed up at fucking art of fighting dojo and we're like <laughs> is that daigo and then he killed everyone and left and we're like <laughs> what just happened <laughs> It felt strong, but it was also a game we didn't care about, so we felt so weak. <laughs> we were just like, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> One of my high school friends, uh, Travis, he went to uh, the midnight release for Arkham City, I think. Yeah. And they were running like a tournament for one of the challenge rounds oh, for uh, okay. the first game. And see who could get the most points or whatever. Right. So he tried to hard read it, and he's like, I'm just going to do this one level over and over and over again. And they chose that level for the challenge, <laughs> and he wiped the floor with everybody. <laughs> and he ended up winning, like, a huge, like, fucking standee for, like, the Arkham City game. I think I had the Joker on it and shit. Oh, it nice. Red. That's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, I'm going to practice this level yeah, just it, in it case. It was, like, the first level of the challenges, and he's like, I bet they're probably going to do this one. And they did. <laughs> and he, like, <laughs> smashed everybody in it. Wow. Like, like, like thousands and tens of thousands of points yeah, better yeah. sort of. Th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one had a chance. The second place dude was also a friend I had in a uh, fucking middle school. Uh, <laughs> what do you want? It win? was just weird. Because, like, Nothing they didn't shame. know each other, but I knew both of them. <laughs> and they, like, kind of became friends because of that. <laughs> <laughs> so Darius is right, though. Did he win anything, or was it literally I just, like... I don't remember. I don't, Here's your second place trophy. Get out, and they Maybe smack some, the like, GameStop <laughs> fucking buku yeah, like a bucks lanyard. or something. Yeah. <laughs> a lanyard. <laughs> <laughs> they, they pulled out the garbage in the back. Goddamn right. <laughs> God, hey, we yeah, shot this on the floor. You want it? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> second please. <laughs> oh jeez, well, let's get let's get into the bread and butter of this podcast. An hour and thirteen minutes in. Damn. Uh, so Epic's a bunch of fucking losers. This is so weird. And Apple is also losers, but less losers in this because this is a fucking argument between two billion dollar companies. Yeah. So what do we give a shit? Like, um, you hear about this at all? Mm-mm. Okay, really? good. <laughs> so. Epic was like, hey, we're going to circumvent Apple taking our money, and there is a new payment process you can do in Apple's version of Fortnite where it's cheaper and you get the same amount of V-Bucks, but it doesn't go through Apple Pay. It goes through Epic Pay. Yeah. And Apple went, you guys fucked up. You can't do that. It's in the contract. Fortnite's off Apple. 
And Fortnite got deleted off Apple. Good. It? Like, yeah, fuck and you then guys. Epic you literally can't with do that. literal propaganda video. You're just trying to yeah. be more greedy, okay? Exactly. So Noah's right. They put out a fucking propaganda video. Do you remember the weird 1984 Apple fucking commercial that everyone was like weirded out with? Because it was like the person like ran forward and like threw a box into the big monitor, and it's like fucking black and white. Futurama mm. did a yeah, parody of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fucking epic did that and there's a big angry apple in black and white on the screen yeah. and like a the exact same thing literally runs down and like fucking breaks the screen and it was like free Fortnite. Yeah. Hashtag free and they're Fortnite. like join the good side because we're good people yeah we're not trying what? to earn 30 percent more money because exactly. we're assholes we're not trying to fleece you out of more yeah. of your money so it's like <sighs> you're literally putting it on their service and being mad that they want to cut yeah like they're hosting it they're updating it. They're giving you servers. They're doing all of this shit for you. And, like, I understand 30% is a lot, but, like, you want to make your own phone? You want to make your own app store? You want to update it yourself? Fucking do it yourself. Or yep. do you want to take the 30% cut to not do that? Right. And, like, they did the same thing, too, with uh, Google Play. And Google Play went, you're out. Yep. <laughs> like, there wow. is a contract that you signed. Right. The, I thought Epic was smart in this. Nope. No. They, they want, want more money. More money. <laughs> They have Fortnite. They want more. How much more do you want? They want Fortnite, dude. Are you serious? (laughs) Why be the 1% when you can be the (laughs) (laughs) 0.1%? Exactly. So now it comes out into play. Costig needs to get... No, that's Activision or Blizzard. Yeah. 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 Same thing. (laughs) So Blizzard now has a lawsuit. Or not Blizzard. Fuck you. You fucking ruined me. Epic (laughs) Epic has a lawsuit that's like, hey, we want to be able to go on to Apple Store and get updates and everything like this, but we also don't want to have to pay them. Um, where's the argument? There isn't one. I their their argument is like technically they're trying to fight for everybody on the app store by being right. like a thirty percent cut is ridiculous. You are fucking like Indies, smaller yeah. developers lower the cut, which like, is fair. Which is fair. Thirty percent's a lot. Steam takes thirty percent. They you know, should probably like, do like a bracket system where they exactly. get X percent up to mo- this much money. After that, then it's X percent. Then after that, it's X percent. Exactly. If you make a hundred thousand right. dollars, then we get a twenty percent cut. But if you make like right. ten thousand so dollars, like we five percent up to ten k. After that, it's like ten percent up to like fifty. Exactly. Something it'd like be, that. I think be might cool. be fair. Yeah. But Epic saying, yeah, you have to give us 30% more is ridiculous. Exactly. So Apple came out and was like, yeah, because you guys are stupid, here's this letter you sent us being like, hey, we want preferred, uh, this was two months ago, where you were like, hey, we want to be preferred customers and we want to have to not be able to do this and whatever um, because we're losers and we don't want to have to pay you. But we said no to this, and now you're all pissy because we said no? Yeah. But you got this contract that you signed that said you're fine with this. But now you're pissy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you signed it. Uh, yeah, kinda, that's uh, legally you binding. You literally can't fucking sue them for it. Exactly. Which is why they made propaganda videos. <laughs> yup. And like, there's like a free Fortnite tournament where it's like hashtag free Fortnite, oh and you can win an evil apple skin, which is like just a dude in a suit that's in black and white, and the head is an apple that's kind of like me. And it's like, oh my god. They're going hell. hard. Yeah, dude. Very hard. And they're trying to get their fan base, which I don't know why you would do this. This isn't a fucking internet shit fight. This is a legal battle courtroom fight. Yeah. Where they're like, yeah, we're getting bullied, kids who were stealing your parents' money. We're getting bullied. <laughs> be mad at apple and it's like <laughs> what are you fucking doing what are you doing them lowering the price so that they can get more money is kind of just the whole problem yep in my opinion yep it's because like, it was like a 30 no, it was, it was like, like 20 percent. yeah 10 bucks for like a thousand and they were like eight bucks for whatever yeah a thousand yeah. yeah and it's like oh my god <laughs> it's like really it's like, oh, so you recognize that this currency is bullshit as well. Yep. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> God damn. So here's what I hope happens, right? I hope Epic wins, but I hope the judge looks at them, leans forward, and goes, you're right, Apple, you know, like, Epic, you don't have to pay Apple a dime for anything you put on there ever again. Epic Game Store, no one has to spend a single dollar to be put on your thing. You don't get a single cent from any game sold on your Epic Launcher. Because mm. they take 17% of every fucking game. That's true. Which is less than Steam's 30%, which was their whole thing. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we, we developers are happier here. But I want the judge to be like, any game can go on there for free. 
You want to play hardball, motherfuckers? You play it for he's everyone. Just, he's gonna do that. Of course he's not going to do that because he's not going to know to say that. But I think that would be the best thing ever because Apple's like like Epic's lawyers would be like, hell yeah. And then they'd be like, is what? <laughs> Excuse me? We aren't getting a cut of other people's stuff? Like how we're doing to people, but we don't want to tell people we're doing that? We're doing what Apple oh. does? What are you? What do you mean? It's, <laughs> it's not going to happen, but I want them to get it. Fact. It's, so bad. It's all so ridiculous because Fortnite's on like literally everything right now. Yeah. And they're just mad that they're like taking thirty percent off of one platform and they're like, All right, we kinda need more money. Yeah. All right, but the Xbox, the PlayStation, the PC, the, the Switch, Switch. When it, when they're buying shit on that, that's fine. Yeah. But but Apple's the bad guy. Yeah, we're mad at Apple. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is an internet shit fight between two billion dollar companies that we don't care about. Yep. But okay. will ultimately affect us anyway. Yep. Great. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Love it. It's like if you saw two fucking oil barons literally throwing shit at each other. Right. Like, they're for literal trying to, feces. Yeah, for trying to dig a hole to get some oil. Yeah. But they're like, oh, you're hurting the environment. I should get this. Yep. Okay, guy. <laughs> and then us, off in the side, just go, we're going to have to pay taxes on this regardless, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the world is, man. God damn right. How the fucking world Dang. is. I'll if you look at it that way, we are literally paying them money to be rich, richer. Yep. That's I'll, fun. Yep. I was listening to a Tupac interview uh, the other day, and he was just talking about pretty much back then he saw how, like, the gate, the, like, way, the like wedge of, like, the gap between the rich and poor is. Yeah. He was saying, like, it's just gonna get bigger, and poor people are gonna get mad. And nope. yep. he used a, he used like the the term like the rich people are gonna get fat and they're gonna look appetizing. That's a oh, that's pretty good, good way to fucking put that. <laughs> that's pretty good. There's a reason that his fucking rhymes are so good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, but uh, yeah. So <laughs> I mean, keep on keep on making money, rich people. Yep. We'll see what happens. Yep. It's, it's, it's like people oh, don't see man. don't like look at history yeah and, and just see like they don't look to the future either yeah no you're gonna overstep that one boundary and then you're going to collapse yeah. and like we are going to laugh haha <laughs> losers i mean they Fuck. got a limit test until they hit that boundary exactly you don't you have enough money no they don't <laughs> Darius, you don't understand. We have trouble paying our like car maintenance bills, but they have trouble putting gas in their million billion dollar yachts. Don't you see yeah. that that's the same? You see, <laughs> they have money, but we also have money. So yeah. why not have us give them our money? Yeah, because then they don't have to spend their money. They could spend our yeah, money. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Speaking of people with a lot of money, let's talk about Sun King Rock. Hell yeah. Rock. This motherfucker bought him a Maybach. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> he had like a fucking brand new Mercedes and he's like, I got you another one. I love when they just like call Mercedes Mercs. Yup. <laughs> it's great. Yup. <laughs> a Maybach. Yeah, dude. That's probably the only Maybach in that area of Korea that they're in. I don't, are they in a city? Yeah. Probably not. I mean. Well, they're not in Yakuza. like Seoul. Well, yeah. But like, yeah. Like I would like to mention that Sun Ken Rock is the only other time I've ever heard of a Maybach other than that Lord song. There was a <laughs> song that Kanye and Jay-Z did where they trashed a Maybach because there's a rival Maybach record thing, and mm -hmm. they just did a music video in it. It was I actually probably, pretty cool. I probably didn't even see it because I'm a loser. Uh, Otis. That's the song called. Otis, yeah, yeah. That's it. I've heard of that song, but I haven't heard it. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. I suck. I like the <laughs> beat. I don't music. But yeah, they 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 Tucson, Tucson, Teso, Teso, yeah, he bought Kim fucking Teso. Thank you. And, and, and Kim was like, "Do we really need this?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah we're fucking <laughs> boss." Yeah, <laughs> and I love that whenever they try to buy Ken a car, he just goes, "No, yeah, I'm, like, I'm good." You got that like thirty grand a year for me, yep. though, right? <laughs> it, like that's all I need. And they're like, "Okay, you sure you don't want to live in this billion gorillion dollar mansion?" He's like, "No, I'll stay in the Goshawan. It's cool." <laughs> like I was telling James, 
I fucking love the new character, the, the Italian dude. Yeah, Benito. Dude, Benito's <laughs> so good. I love him. When I first saw him, I, I was like, stallion. I was like, yeah. please let him join the gang. Of course he does. Dude, you already know. <laughs> yeah. You don't get a named character like that unless they fucking coming back. First like, thing he does with fucking pickaxe is start comparing dicks. Yep. Because <laughs> he just fucking smiles at him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's start let's start from the beginning. And go go kind of chapter to chapter because that's I feel like the only way to get through like everything as we remember it. Oh yeah. Uh, so literally, he's fighting the Cherry Twins. Yep. Where we left off. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing when when he fought them. The girl like busted her heel and tried to stab him, yep. and then the girl had then like the next thing you know, she her heel's fixed. I was I was like, isn't is her heel fixed? Did he, did he make a mistake yep. in the art? And he mentions it, and he's like, hold on. <laughs> Something's fishy here. Yeah, and he's like, you're not the same person. She's like, of course I am. And he's like, no, you're really not. I have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just kind of like, oh, 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 this is the first time anyone's not, like. <laughs> this guy's actually observant. Yeah. <laughs> he sees tits, but he also doesn't He sees see the tits. soul behind yeah, the tits. Yeah, he sees the soul within the boob. <laughs> um, and he also, like, stays strong for the most part and is like, please don't suck my dick. Yeah. Please don't suck my dick. I don't want my dick sucked. <laughs> yeah, because just... their plan is to kill him while he's, like, coming or something. Yeah. Because it's like, hey, don't you want to at least, like, die when you, like, are happy? We're going to kill you anyway. And he's like, you're not. But all right. And then he wins by apparently just holding them. And his manly sexual energy makes them <laughs> come. It's a weird chapter. And this sort of thing doesn't yeah, really happen that was, again. That was a weird fight. Yeah. yeah. And then what's what's her name? Kaylee, right? Kaylee, the Kaylin or Kaylee, the, I think the weapons master. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, but she rolls up and she's like, "It's not about boobs." Uh, also, I'm gonna teach you how to properly like please him. Oh, and Ken's shit. like, "Okay, I'm gonna leave. You've never pleased me, but <laughs> you do you, whatever." <laughs> and he like fucking bounces. Um, and then he goes up against the next fighter. Which is this big burly dude, but then the little fucking the Asian shit dude bag. kills him. Yeah, yeah, just kills him outright. And Ken's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" It's <laughs> like I'm the boss now. <laughs> yeah, he's he like murders him. Then they have a nice little fight. Yeah, they have a good little little tiff. <laughs> I also love when the fucking because while all this is going on, while he's fighting the Cherry Twins, the monks show the fuck back up at the fucking casino. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're monks. And all the people are like, yeah, you're monks. So what? And they're like, yeah, but right now we're not monks. And they put the fucking hats back on. <laughs> and they're like, let's rule. <laughs> and then they all just rock them. And then Taesu has a moment where he, like, welcomes back all of his father's gang members. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, thank you for being alive. Let's get this shit running again. And it's like, fuck, Teso. Yeah. Like, Teso, what are you? What are you? <laughs> like, <laughs> He's a G. He's so good. Yeah, so one thing, didn't Teso made the dude without, well, I think his name starts with an M. The the dude not that's not pickaxe. The silent oh, big yeah. guy. Yeah, he like had him come up there and back up Ken by shooting a whole bunch of people. And Ken kind of, like, was got mad at him. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he, like, realized Taesu, like, told him to do it. Yeah. And, and he, and he get, he's like, Taesu didn't believe in me. Oh, That's I, why he told you to come do it. I mm -hmm. love the shot where they all come in with the suits <laughs> just to show that now they're on Ken's side. It's so good. They're man. like, uh, nah, sorry, boss. <laughs> fuck you. We all lost our fight, so <laughs> the rule of cool dictates that we are now on <laughs> Sun Ken. Team Sun Ken, you know? Oof. Marin, that's his name. That's the, the dude's name that isn't. Is he going to develop a personality, or are we going to get into that's, him? That's my favorite piece of art in the series. Uh, Ma Marin, Marin has a personality. It's just that he, like, he's the, like, arm of Taesu. He's like, I will do anything Taesu asks. Are we going to get to see more? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, they they all get a, a lot. They don't all get a lot more because I think the big muscle dude who owns the car doesn't really yeah. <laughs> expand past I was the only person with a car at the beginning of the gang, but that also <laughs> puts me above you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he got in on the ground floor, so he's like exactly <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, sometimes that happens. Yeah, he's not like worthless, but yeah. I I think one of my favorite parts about these fights is that like his choreography for these fights like if they made a kung fu like a like a like a like a kung fu movie mm. of sun ken rock it would be some of the crispest like combat ever because they can just shot for shot recreate these fights yeah cuz they they aren't super unrealistic like a manga would usually go right mm. like cuz like even ipo kind of takes it a step beyond sometimes i know it's for like artistic yeah. representation yeah the dempsey row is fucking magical exactly <laughs> and like it's there's... fucking sick and that's the point <laughs> exactly it's, it looks cool but like most of the fights in sun ken rock like it's just being better at dodging and punching which yeah. is like i like that because how many times do you actually see a fight that isn't fucking like uh like i i just i screamed a little bit louder and now i'm better than you yeah he like, like learned a new way to dodge and yeah then like slows down time so he can explain it to you again <laughs> yeah and he's like whoa <laughs> but no ken just fucking punches people or hits him with a bat yeah and it's like yeah that would do a person in or his forehead sometimes. or his yeah or his forehead <laughs> <laughs> fucking dude it's so good um I just so, love that his superpower is just him being stubborn. Yeah. Just not going down. Yeah, he just doesn't pass <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, then their fight have to do with like they're like, Yeah, we're we're gonna do one last fight, one last stand and like whoever moves first <laughs> It's your turn to suffer, dude. <laughs> like He he switches from like this shitty, weird, kinda goofy style to the good shit yeah. so fucking clean. Uh, you were saying sorry. Uh, when he's fighting that that lone care guy, like, weren't they like just boxing and like whoever like moved first would lose or something? I, I remember the guy saying like Ken didn't move. Yeah, Ken's like I won't I won't back up anymore basically, and he's like fucking show me what you got. Like you ain't gonna be able to move me. And Ken's even got like, like that great line of like I don't follow I don't make anyone follow me. Like I'm yeah. not like your boss. They just. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I'd follow Ken. I'd follow Ken into the gates of hell. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they they win the casino because this is uh, in fact a manga. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, they get they get paid. Yep. I thought his arm got chopped off at that point. Yeah, because of just how inky black everything yeah, else is. I was like, did he just glaze over that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oof. His art's so good. Yep. And then, and then, of course, everybody go turns against the boss. I was trying to say, was the they? boss was he like an Italian dude? Or no, was he Korean. He's. I'm pretty sure he's Korean. Yeah. He used to be a part of the Korean mafia, and then he went straight, quote unquote, straight yeah. when he owned the casino. Because he's like, I stopped. My gang is over. I'm done. But then this arc was him going like, No, fuck this. Yeah, I'm bringing the more. gang back together. Yeah. Like, call all my generals back. And that's who all the, the, the cherry twins and the, the chef, the mm. weird fucking chef. All all upper body, no legs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. <laughs> and then they totally show off and like the dude's like, holy shit. Like they, they accomplished it. And he's like, fuck, I, I really threw them under the bus when I thought they couldn't do shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Be you, good to you, your peeps. You had to fucking suck Ken's toes to ask him for a favor, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I think after that, that's when they go to. Oh yeah, the, the, we can ignore the weird food. The food wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally squirting mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard on yeah. Kaylee. I think that's all it is. Yeah, that the chapter is kind of like a throwaway chapter. Uh, and then it's the K-pop. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, no, they go to Italy. Oh, you're right. You're right. Because that, that's is, just her explaining her routine. Yeah, this is the like, cop girl. Who am I gonna <laughs> give my body to? You think they ever would have brought it to the actual mafia? Like when you were reading this, did you no. expect like the mafia mafia? No. To be yeah. There? <laughs> no, not not at all. <laughs> I did like like I was telling James. He just like the the. The head dude is just the dude from the Godfather. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they even like draw him just like it too. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, real real quick. This is actually one of my favorite chapters in the entire fucking manga. The like road trip. The thing? road trip. 
because Ken shows that he doesn't want to show off. Like, he doesn't want people to, like, know he's powerful. Yeah. So, like, he's like, yeah, I'll go on this road trip. And even when the girls are all fucking shitting on him and dudes roll up and, like, steal his money. And he's like, no, I'll just give it to you. It's fine. And they're like, wow, what a pussy. Yeah. And he then comes he back with the back. suit. <laughs> he comes back with the suit. And he buys fucking, like, shoe polish from, like, the fucking, like, convenience store to mm. use in his hair. And he's like, hold up. You guys didn't realize who you were fucking with, and it's like, no, we did not. I, I love, I love the line of like the girl in the car, in the back of the car with them. They're like all the other guys are trying to get her attention, and she's like, I don't like any of you. And Ken says to himself, "What she doesn't know is I own the club that she works at." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the one dude who like is at the Goshawan with him knows that he is a mob mm. boss. Yeah, yeah. So he's and, like, "Why are you taking all this shit?" Yeah. And then <laughs> I love that they're like, "Where where where where'd Kitano Ken go?" And he's like, "We'll wait for him." And they're like, "He's probably going to die. It's fine." He's like, "No. Uh, he's we'll coming wait. back." <laughs> <laughs> Which is just so fucking good. There's like a few moments like that too. Like when he's uh, jogging. Yeah. That one oh, with the K with the K-pop girl? Yep. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'll work out. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. Dude, Benito only gets better, too. Oh, my God. He's great. He's got the biggest dick in the game, but he's got the stamina of yeah. an ant. Well, an ant's got good stamina. He's got the stamina of a, a yeah. paper straw. You know? like The one pump chump, as some would say. <laughs> and, like, he's so good because, of course, he would be. You know? Yeah. Like, of course, he'd be. He would be the exact opposite of pickaxe. Yeah. Right? Like, pickaxe can probably fuck for, like, three days. But he's a piece of shit scumbag, so no one wants to get with him. Right. But Benito is, like, super suave and the best and leaves everyone wanting. Because his, face can, his face kind of reminds me of, like, uh, the jo- uh, JoJo style. Yeah, I was, like, just about to say his eyes are very JoJo. Yeah. And I think he had to do that just to, like, differentiate oh, yeah. who was so he's Korean. A, he's Italian. Yeah. 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 But he does it in a really good way. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not, like, out of place. It feels cohesive. Yeah. But it's just like, <laughs> it's literally just Godfather. Oh, it's so good. And when he talks to Taesu and he's like all in black and it's like actually just like redrawn <laughs> from a scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh and he like tries to get with Yumin and yeah. Ken's like, I will I will eat you. Yeah, but he, <laughs> he finds out he finds out who she is. Yep. Which yep. is super interesting. Yeah. Yep. And he he he's kinda under Ken's mercy. Or or, or Ken is under his mercy because yeah. he knows that she's She's a cop, and he knows who Ken is. Yep. And, like, the gang doesn't, which I don't understand. Ken, just let them know, dude. He can't. He can't. And also, I didn't, I didn't, what, Yumi is her name? Or yeah, Yumin. Yumin. I don't like how she was, like, how she said. I don't like that she's in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just you think, saying. <laughs> you think it's because of, ca- like, a case or something? I mean, it's gotta be, but, like, it's still, like, ooh, it's, is it, it's fucking it, stupid. Maybe, I don't remember. Could it have been like related to her father? <laughs> I, it's it's related to something. I think it's like they might go into it later, but I don't actually. They said remember. why she. I think it was. I think like her boss her is like go to Italy. It was, it was some dumb something. excuse. It wasn't. It was it wasn't yeah. anything like. like it's just shown an excuse to have the love interest yeah, in the new okay. country. But um, my gr- my boat crashed. Tee or some I shit. You know, Boichi's better than that. You know. Yeah. So I was just wondering. But yeah, she uh, Ken. She she like said, Ken has to like. Pretty much, give himself up and like say like I want you or whatever. Yeah. Even though he did it in Japan, and you said no. Yeah. So why does yeah. he have to do it again? Like you Test stop being an result. asshole. <laughs> no, she she just <laughs> been an asshole. <laughs> well, I I'll be honest. I think Yumin's smart enough to know that he's like a fucking. Mafioso. Get mafioso and she's like unless you tell me the truth like the underscript yeah, of yeah. it is if you aren't going to be honest with me of course i can't be in a relationship with you because yeah. it's like which is a fair That's statement fair. right Because yeah. i'm a cop you're the mafia i get it we could maybe make it work but you're hiding shit yeah why are you lying you know like it's his also, bloodline, dude. He has to do this. Oh, exactly. <laughs> also, let's talk about the fact that immediately after Benito has Ken by the balls, Benito gets thrown by, like, four dudes with fucking... 
guns. He fucked all like, their wives. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just like pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Ken, I will forget everything if you can somehow get me out of this. And he's like, okay, yeah, I'll do right. it. How are you going to do it? You run right through. And he just fucking <laughs> runs through the four dudes with fucking clobs and just beats the shit out of them. Which is like... Yeah, he's like, you, you fight your fights. You don't run from them. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, when you kicked him into the, the car. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I, Benito Armani, t- 18 years. This is the first time I've ever wanted to follow someone. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Did they talk about how much they respect him? Uh, uh, how much Benito respects? Oh, this uh, is the, the, the Godfather scene? Yep. <laughs> yep, and, and he's like, I want to make Benito my successor, and he tells that to Taysu. And then I think the last chapter, or is it this chapter? No, it's this chapter. It's the second to last chapter we read. Is the Godfather's like, if he is a strong man, like they say he is, which I believe he is. Take him out. Take him out. Because strong men never ally with us. Yeah. Kill him. If he is someone that you would follow, kill him. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. Yeah. And then Benito goes to the mountain. Yep, and then Benito goes yeah, to the mountain. Comes back, <laughs> kind of looking, <laughs> looking like he's been in jail for like fucking 12 years. He fucking learns the way, dude. Yep, and then he gets his hair back, which is like, thank God. Yeah. Because if he looked like that for the rest of the series, nah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then. Uh, is this the Maybach, or did he buy the Maybach already? No, the Maybach is chapter 50, because it's. <laughs> I, I love how he comes out like he looks so fucking jacked in his sweatpants they always call him fucking... homeless though when he looks like that <laughs> cause when he uh, saves the k-pop girl he's like he's like I, the person whoever who's talking to him is like yeah I have a job uh, if you wanna you know do it I know you're homeless I know you need it yeah <laughs> <laughs> well cause like if you think about it he is just like okay no there's no excuse he is fucking ripped and he has his arms on full display yeah like he, no one would they think it those arms this, are homeless. Too, right? They have a what? They ham it up. This is when he's like, "Yeah, I like <laughs> fucking work out eight hours a day." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love that line too. Of just let go of her. Fuck off. <laughs> it's like, Look at him. I don't care how bad. If even if I have a gun in my back pocket, right? If The Rock told me to fuck off mid workout. You say, okay, boss, and you walk away. Yep. Cause Find the a new ru- gym. Like, exactly. Because it's like, he could probably punch me before I can get this fucking gun out. <laughs> Even if I get the gun out, he could probably punch me before right. I pull the trigger. How many times can I pull this trigger before he's in my face? Also, this is a separate thing, but I hate it on all like manga sites the that color. use it. People who fucking think their colors are Ooh. good. Fuck off. Dude, I hate it so much because it's never good. Yeah. And, like, it just ruins the art. And, like, why did they make him guile? Yeah. <laughs> like, they gave him the fucking, like, green shirt. I don't know. Fucking whatever. It's clearly a white tank top. Yep. <laughs> it's so obviously white. And just, like, shitty, you know, gray sweatpants. Yep. And he's like, yeah, I got a job, Taysu. I'm quitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taysu <Yeah>. fucking... <laughs> Full hand grabs Since Marin's you own dick. this fucking company, my <laughs> guy. <laughs> and then he's like, no, let him learn this lesson. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, Taysu looks so fucking unhinged right there, yeah. too. He's like, Dude, like, this is going to be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he'll return to being a mafia? And fucking he just throws Eventually. a cigarette and doesn't say shit. <laughs> oh, my he's God. Like, of course he will. Darius, you're going to love these chapters. Yeah. Correction, you're going to hate these chapters. It's very good. Like, they're so good, but the people are such fucking scum. Dude, it's basically the boys, kind of. Like, the concept of how, like... The TV show? Yeah, of how, like, corrupted this shit gets. Uh, because that, it's it's yeah. real. Like, this level of corruption is in the K-pop and J-pop yeah, it's, industry. Yeah, it's realistic corruption. Yeah. Mm. And that's what makes it worse. Yeah. Like... The eclipse of Berserk, pretty rough. But you go, eh, it's demons. Right. The demon is man. Yep. And that's what makes it bad. It hurts more because it's like, oh, no, the demons this killed everyone. This literally is probably happening right now. Yep. This literally last night. Mm. But, yeah, Sun Ken's fucking great. Yeah. You just have to get you just have to get past the chibi in the beginning. Yeah. When you get past the chibi, he gets past the chibi, and you're good. 
<laughs> Once you see the real art, and then the chibis, it's good. Yeah. But, yeah. So, so do you think you still want to chill with 15 on this one? Or yeah. do you think since you don't have to go away for a weekend, you can do 20? I'm going to do 15. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's cool. So we got to get chapter 65. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to be in the middle of a fight. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's good. <clears throat> it's real good. Is it? I think it's the middle of the fight. Oh, okay. Or it's right before the fight. Shit. I would check the chapter right now, but Darius is right there. Yeah, don't, don't so do I that. won't I won't do this. <laughs> 65. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You do I'll have a cell phone. I'll see if I can find it. Shit, does anybody else here have anything to talk about? I feel like I just ran with this fucking podcast. I asked a bunch of questions and shit, but like something had to happen. Oh, you know, you, you went to the wedding, Darius. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. I didn't know that I was gonna be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a fun phone call. Yeah, I went to I went to Cali for a wedding with my girlfriend, and um, you already married her. It's been like three months. <laughs> <laughs> We had to go from Chicago to Vegas, then Vegas to Reno, and then from Reno to Lake Tahoe. So it's uh, literally a full day of traveling. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, fuck Reno. Yeah. Have you been? <laughs> no, but I, uh, my family has. Uh, like, I haven't, but, like, my, my extended family have gone to, like, Vegas and Reno. Dude, fuck Reno. Yeah, Reno, <laughs> Reno's pretty sad. Reno 911 does a really good job of showing you what Reno looks like. It's a hellhole. <laughs> like... You can joke as much as you want, but it's just there's nothing there, there's and nothing. it's just they've got some shittier casinos than Vegas because they ain't Vegas, and that's Reno. Exactly. Like <laughs> we when we were there, we were like looking at Reno, we we're like, is it this sad? And we even I even had her look up like I was like, is there anybody famous from Reno? Does have they like produced anything? And Reno is famous for everyone who gambles that gets kicked out of Vegas goes to Reno yeah. instead. <laughs> Fucking, she looked up like most popular people from reno list and like jessica negri was on there oh she's from reno yeah but really? like a cosplayer is your well, your most popular people you don't have any like singers or actors or like athletic people like sports people just <laughs> nah dude it's just like okay reno kind of jessica negri yeah i mean but uh yeah we so we did full day travel i, I drove through some mountains First time ever seeing mountains or driving through mountains. This is what, driving through mountains is, is different. Yep. Yeah, it's not it's not just <laughs> driving on a straight road. That took some getting used to. It was a little scary. But um Did you get the the roller coaster vibe when you went down? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the road when you're going down were, were you driving or were you in the passenger seat? I was driving. Good. It's way worse if you're in the passenger seat. Really? Because you feel like you have no control and it's fucking bad. Oh shit. You're like Ugh! Cause like even if if you don't have an oh shit handle, you like you tense up because you're like mm. yeah going down the mountain it was just all breaks yep just straight up um but yeah we made it to Lake Tahoe and it was the most beautiful lake I ever seen in my life like apparently the lake is like glacier water yeah so it's just not for long <laughs> <laughs> so the, the water make our own at some point. <laughs> The water's super just blue and clear. Yep. And the beach was just incredible. It was the cleanest beach I've ever been to. Like, it was weird. No bugs at all. No flies or anything. It was was weird, man. (laughs) Just seeing, like, a super clean, natural lake. Yeah, and you didn't see any eight-eyed fish that you'd see in uh, the the Chicago side of Lake Michigan, you know? (laughs) Yeah, it was super weird. It's fucking cryptids in the water over there, dude. (laughs) And uh, we went we went up to the mountains and we like rode a gondola up there. Oh shit! Nice. That and, sounds like, dope. Yeah, we like took some pictures and everything, and I climbed like some rocks on top of the mountain. It was super cool. Did you feel strong. Yeah, I felt very strong. Yeah. See, that's that's why there's definitely something good for leaving where you grew up. Mm. Like, a hundred percent. It doesn't matter where you grew up. You need the like not culture shock. But like you need that like, oh this has this is what the world has in it you know yeah, yeah. it was it was dope and um, <laughs> the the place we're at sits right on the border of Nevada Nevada and Cali oh shit so we of course were trying to be safe we were like we're not going to any restaurants or like anything so we went to a grocery store mm-hmm. to like pick up some like food we picked up a twenty dollar bottle of vodka 
Good food. Twenty like a twenty four pack of water. Uh like Caesar salad. A jar of peanut butter and jelly. So it's like peanut butter mixed with jelly. Okay. A loaf of bread and a bag of chips. Some apples, oranges, and bananas. Guess how much that was all together? Sixty five bucks. Yes. Really? Yeah. Actually? Wow. Yeah. It was like, oh my <laughs> God, I fucking rain man over here. <laughs> we, we were like, we were like, what the fuck is happening? And then I was like, these are Cali prices. Yep. Oh I was God. like, holy shit, these are, <laughs> these are fucking Cali. <laughs> Cali prices are scary. Okay. Yup. <laughs> yup. Cali prices are scary, man. It was, it was just kind of ridiculous. But, um. You f- back when I went to Cali, I was amazed because they had like a 16% sales tax. And when I was, I was still a kid, so I was from Michigan. We have a 6% sales tax in Michigan. So I was like, what the fuck? Wow. How do you charge that much more? Yeah. Like, fuck. It's insane. Uh, I saw. Every $10 you spend, you spend another dollar. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck. Another dollar <laughs> 60. Fuck. Yeah. These roads are still shit. Yup. <laughs> We uh we were like walked we walked around a lot, uh we got up early in the morning like try to see the sunrise over the mountains, mm. and we saw a just straight fucked up girl. You can tell she's she's fucked up from the night before, just thought, <laughs> booty shorts, no shoes on, dancing in the street. Nice. <laughs> and we we found a a bag of coke on the ground. Hell yeah! Yeah. You sure it wasn't just sugar. I'm sh- no, I'm sure. <laughs> it's, he made sure. Yeah, check the purity. Dude, the casinos are sad. <laughs> yeah, dude, they are. Did you know that casinos don't have balconies? Because if they did, people would kill themselves more frequently. God, like, actually. That's, yep. that's, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> yep. But, yeah, I, I saw a lot of old people there. I just, you know you know when they, like, portray a casino in, like, movies and stuff? Yeah. It's, like, the old person there sitting with the cigarette. Yep. Just, yeah. With the, the slot machine. With the, the slot cup machine. of quarters. Yeah. I saw it. Yep. It's real. I saw it. <laughs> the only difference is that she had her mask below on her chin. It's of course. Just, I was like, dude. I mean, she should have just cut a hole in it. So she could. <laughs> it's true. It's <laughs> smarter. But it, it was fucking. She it was just sad. get a drink ring so she can do it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't do it again. I'm not touching those machines. No. No, no. Uh, yeah. no. You get an STD from looking at them. Did you get checked? <laughs> I wouldn't even I walk in a casino, dude. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, we... Um, and the white school was, like, on a beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. And the reception was fine. The food was fucking terrible. Like, Tahoe. Really? Yeah. Like, that no sucks. seasoning. Like, they don't, they don't season white their food. food. No, not even that. They just literally... we got, I got fries. Yeah. No salt. What? No salt, no pepper. That's insane. She, was that like a decision made by the prime people? The, yeah. Like the people getting married, or was this just? No, this was. This wasn't the wedding. This is just we're hungry. There's oh. a there's a a restaurant in the hotel. Oh shit! And we got food from there. That's disgusting. She, she got a, a like grilled chicken burger. Okay. And I I got some chips and salsa, thinking that it would be flavorful. It wasn't. She put salsa on her chicken sandwich just to try to get some flavor. Jesus. And it didn't work. Some salsa? Yeah. It was fuck she didn't even finish it. What I, the fuck? It was it's like they don't know how to season their food down there. <laughs> it's fucking weird. That's it's insane. Goofy dude. Yeah, it it's was fucking bullshit. Imagine not putting seasonings on food. It was it's yeah. I'd kill myself. <laughs> Somebody told me there was no more salt for food. Oh shit. I'd just kill myself. I think we actually need salt, so we'd die anyway. Yeah. No, I said, I said salt for food. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> you know uh, you can get it at other places. Just you, you can't buy it like a like a salt shaker anymore. Uh, the wedding night, I got I, I celebrated. I got drunk. I called Noah. You yeah. did. <laughs> so Noah. so let me tell you from my perspective, it's two thirty in the morning. It's eleven at there. There is eleven. That's true. Yep. It's two thirty in the morning, <laughs> and I'm laying back in my chair watching the boys because <laughs> what the fuck else am I gonna do? Yep. It's and I had my you fucking phone do. face down in front of me, and then I just hear it like ringing i'm like i swear to fucking god if it's this telemarketer <laughs> again i'm gonna actually kill somebody and then i pick it up and this darius wants to facetime me and i'm like all right why not let's, let's go down this rabbit hole <laughs> so i answer it he's like no uh, i love you and i'm like i love you too darius you were the first are thing you high right yeah. now 
And then I hear Amy in the background go, no, he's drunk as shit. <laughs> when I get drunk, I, I, I call people. Dar- Darius is a very happy drunk. <laughs> he's got the biggest smile on his face. Yeah. yeah. It's great, too, because it's a barometer. When, yeah. you, when he starts drinking, he's fine, but then you just progressively see those corners of his mouth <laughs> sneak up, and you're like, yep, okay, there we go. And he's like, I'm not even that drunk. And it's like, you're smiling a little too much there, friends. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We, uh, you texted me, too. Yeah, I texted you. Yeah, yeah you're I would have like, FaceTimed you if I could have. Yeah. I, just, I, fa- you, I FaceTimed Matt. <laughs> I FaceTimed my cousin. <laughs> Uh, AJ or a different cousin? A uh, different cousin. I could, if I could FaceTime AJ, I would too. But oh, does he, he not have an iPhone either? No. No. Smart man. And uh, a Don't FaceTime. We get FaceTime with drunk friends. I FaceTime <laughs> another cousin. Yeah, I was just, yeah, when I get drunk, I just you just I, want I, to talk I, to people. I, yeah, I, let, I, I just let everybody know how I feel, man. <laughs> but also, I wasn't smart because I was. I didn't realize it was two a, two a.m. Yeah. in yeah. Illinois. So. so you're like, why aren't these assholes picking up? Yeah. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> So um and then we uh we went back and going, we we were stupid cuz uh we went, we went back on Sunday. Yeah. And the airports are just fucking ridiculous. Right. On Sundays it was so stressful, dude. Just yeah. like everybody there. It was fucking terrible, I fucking hate man. Flying, dude. I've only done it twice and it's it's stressful. I mean, yeah. if it wasn't corona, I would have been fine, but it's like sure. the corona makes it so stressful. Oh yeah. Of like Get away from me. Why are you all together? Falling out of you, the air would make me more stressed. <laughs> <Yeah>. Personally. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm okay. I, I know planes, like, they're good, you know? Like, the, the odds With of a plane most crash. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> it just has to be yours that isn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that shit that shit sucked. But uh, other than that, yeah, we, it, was, it was fun. It was nice. It's good. Yeah. yeah. See, you just got to look at – no, it'll make you feel better. Just look at – uh flying and things that are dangerous like that like that bomb disposal guy thinks about bomb disposing this is a great tweet yeah it's it's it's, (laughs) either it's fine or it's not my problem anymore (laughs) (laughs) i mean that's the best way to look at it like how do you deal with the stress i don't have stress i like having not my problem do you always get nervous with flying i've only done it twice like i said it was to go to disney and back but no it was not fun (laughs) On the way back, there was, like, some worse turbulence. Oh, yeah. And, like, you can feel yourself drop and shit, and it's not flown. I, I don't <laughs> mind flying. I even flew in a super shitty one that was, like, just straight up. It was, like, L.A. to uh, Sacramento. And it was, like, it was, like, a shit plane. It sat six. Damn. Wow. And, like, it, it was, It like wasn't a private jet. Seats. It was, like, a... Yeah. <laughs> like, borderline, it, like, it was a propeller plane, you know? Like, oh, my God. So, the, you want to talk about turbulence. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Um, like I felt like I was about to crash into a desert, you know, like that's the, that's the type of plane that I was riding in Wow. and, uh, it still didn't give a shit. I was like, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, uh, is that it? Is that all? Is that all is we it? got? That's all we got. What you got, Darius? What you got? Uh, what are you hitting with us? Uh, end of question. Of course. I haven't really thought of any. Um, yeah, you got two weeks, man. Fucking slacking. We got a slacker backer over here, dude. I never think of him. There's always on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's Every a nice time. It's true. Every time. Uh, this one's giving him a little bit more trouble than usual. What's your favorite kind of flower? My favorite flower. That's a loaded question. Yeah. It's a flower. How's that a loaded question? <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, but I guess if I want to elaborate on it, different flowers have different meanings, I guess. Yeah. Flower language yeah. plays a big part. I also don't know much of it. Yeah. Because like, I think hibiscuses are pretty as shit. Yeah. But like lilies, lilies are cool, but yeah, that's the fucking death pretty. flower. Yeah. So. <laughs> so um, I have a favorite flower. I'm gonna be a complete abject loser and be like, oh, Raphalasia. There's a, like this hummingbird plant that like has leaves that look like hummingbirds. Those are pretty cool. Oh, I think I've seen that. They're like yeah. like red in the middle and then like white to green, right? I think or so. Is it, yeah, maybe. But they're also like kind of shaped. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I I I think I'll go with hibiscus. Hibiscus, hibiscus is are good flowers. They're pretty good. They're pretty flowers. Gonna be a weeb and say cherry blossom flowers. Yeah, yeah. 
pretty. They're pretty. Being all tree. <coughs> Very Call pretty. Call them what they are. Sakura. Oh, my Dust. favorite tree is uh-huh. the weeping <laughs> willow. Yeah, weeping Those willows are, are so dope. fucking pretty. I love them. They're creepy, man. Yeah. Yeah. I love how just like somber they look. Yeah. They're, 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 so but no they're one also likes them because they're creepy. They're, yeah. they're also in every haunted like haunted house image. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're so pretty. They're they're great. On my way to work, like there's a stretch on like the final road where there's just like willows everywhere. It's like some days I just like go out and like draw under them. Yeah. They're pretty fucking it's nice. Sounds super nice. <laughs> yeah. Well willow trees are super great. Yeah, that's my favorite flower, the willow tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'd probably say lilies, I guess. Yeah. What color are the lilies? Yellow? They can be a lot. Yeah. Okay. Tiger lilies are super pretty. I think my dad has some. Just in his yard? Yeah. Nice. Tulips are good, too. Yeah, yeah. This is Tul- the flower podcast. There was... There yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> Come here you know about, about like the uh, fucking flower market in like medieval times? Yeah, and, you know, like it was crazy and it like crashed hard and all of that shit. It was super like interesting. I don't remember a lot of it, but like back then, like hybrid flowers were like fucking worth their weight in gold. Like they're just so rare and like expensive. And then just like one day, they just, just like the whole entire market crashed and you couldn't. Uh, I don't know. I bar- I barely remember like most of it, but yeah, it was interesting. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or not when we went to Charlevoix, um, but the streets are all lined with flowers. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, not in, like, the downtown area. I noticed. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why we have that dumb moniker uh, when you come into the, the town. Charlevoix the Beautiful. Charlevoix the Beautiful. Oh. It's because uh, ev- everybody, like, does it. It's just a thing that, like, they put them in front and you like go out and like plant them to make okay. the city look beautiful. You just have to worry about whatever you technically don't have to do it, but like you're kind of an asshole if you don't. I'm sure a lot, a lot of meth heads don't. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, we don't, we sent them off. They go, they live in East Jordan and, uh, you think meth heads would be good at <laughs> tedious tasks. It's true. <laughs> well, only if they have their meth. <laughs> Just give them some crystal. Set them loose <laughs> with some flour. They pick up the fla- they, they pick up the flour, and there's the little packet. And they're like, <laughs> "I love my government." <laughs> like, yeah, man, our town's all about those flowers. Charlevoix is very pretty. It's very, very pretty. Next time we should go, we should be losers and go into the woods. There's a guy right. in the woods. There's a man in the woods. I'm not going to the Michigan woods. Why not? Because no. Why not? Because that's a horror movie waiting to be written. It's not because it we're it, no. It's I a mean, horror movie when there's you're in a, a man d- in the woods, two white people and one black man will go into the woods to find the man. I think that's more I didn't, like a south that's, thing. Yeah, it's a horror yeah. movie waiting to be written right there. <laughs> I love. That you know who dies first? A man in the woods. Huh? <laughs> you, we just were. were bleh, 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 bleh. We were referencing an animation yeah. with that. There's oh, a man in the woods. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought there was, isn't I, actually a man in oh, the woods. <laughs> I thought I thought this was like an urban legend or something. That no, like, no. <laughs> so, we should definitely show you that animation though. Yeah, it's really good. It's we'll watch good. it like before dinner or something, or like while we cook. Uh, no, no, there's not okay. a man in the woods. Okay, it's okay. just pretty woods with big trees. Uh, I thought it was like an urban <laughs> legend of like, yeah, there's a so-called man in this woods. And I'm like, no, no I'm not fucking going <laughs> no. in there. No, that, that's why when you were like, it's like a horror movie. I'm like, Charlevoix is a nice town. Horror <laughs> movies are in like fucking destroyed towns where the, the <laughs> yeah. only person you find is the man with four teeth that tells you that he's out of gas at the gas station <laughs> like yeah you'll have to walk so about four miles through the here? woods <laughs> to pump your own gas scar out across there. his eye <laughs> it's pretty warm out there <laughs> as he looks at you through his eyebrows <laughs> you guys are gonna yeah, you guys are gonna need a place to stay there's a lake about four miles down the road <laughs> I'll be getting a new shipment it's of gas. Airbnb, you can su- <laughs> I'll be getting a new shipment of gas in about four days. <laughs> no, no one's been there. It's been closed down for about five years, so you can stay there no problem. You know. Do I have a uh, foot, uh, like a sports jersey on yeah. where, uh, with a basketball under my, underneath my arm? No, 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 no. <laughs> you're you're a little bit better than that. You have a Letterman <laughs> with a big D. Yeah, with a, with a big D on the, on the breast pocket. What, what color was your high school colors? Yeah, that's actually a good question. Red, black, white. Ooh, they had three nice. colors. Pretty good. Mine was purple, black, and white. Yeah, mine was maroon and white. Nice. Yeah. Is I hated it. We're the fucking... What was your mascot? The knight. 
The purple knights. It's pretty dope. Uh, Ram. It's generally the knights. That was like the school mascot. Our swim team was the tide. That's pretty I think, cool. Yeah. I think a few of them had different ones, but it was the knight. You know, those were raiders. Oh, shit. What pirates. about all of your mascots? Raiders? Like, yeah. It, it was always the raiders? It was always the raiders. Like through Just elementary, every, middle? It's always the raiders, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It was lame because it was a fucking pirate, and mm. it was spelled wrong. R a y d e r s. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yes, but like it, it, he had he was a cool pirate, and then they fucking PC'd is, is, him. Is the is the joke that he's a pirate, so he can't spell? No, the joke oh. is that they they didn't. I don't know. They're like fucking raider. Stupid. Like, <laughs> dude, they, uh, 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 my cousin's school was the Broncos, but they spelled Bronco wrong. <laughs> was that not on purpose? Yeah, no, it was in a complete accident, and they just uh. stuck with it. Good fucking jobs. But was, no. was it like Raiders? Like, like how powers go A? No. Like Raiders. <laughs> Raiders. No, because Canadians go A. Pirates go R. Uh, <laughs> ra- right. Raider. Raid. <laughs> what are you doing I'm over trying there? To make it fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Because <laughs> Pirates go R, not Ray. <laughs> they don't go fucking fuck with Ray Romano, like, on a daily basis. <laughs> no, they fucked up. And it was cool because he had a fucking knife in his mouth and he was a badass. And they were like, that's dangerous. So he took the knife away. So he's just a fucking mook-ass pirate painted on a wall. A pirate in itself is dangerous. Yeah, they exactly. murder people. <laughs> Exactly. I think I could probably fucking look. They up murder and steal for a living. Oh, oh, do, you, do you think taking the knife away is gonna make it better? <laughs> you might as well leave the knife in. See, this is the cool. Like he looks fine. He kind of looks like a debonair yeah. motherfucker. But then they just took away the knife, and he oh, kind of looks like a fucking cosplayer now. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like used to be cool, and then Dang. no more. I, I think school mascots can be way cooler. And that's like even older. Like if it were like a skull like that, that'd be. Dope as fuck. Yeah, it's super rad. Uh, <clears throat> there was also uh, East Jordan, which is called the, the East Jordan Devils. Raiders. <laughs> Don't quote this shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're East Jordan, uh, like, uh, Blue Devils, because their color was blue, and it's pretty cool. And then they were like, nah, Devils is bad imagery. We can't call them Devils anymore. Mm. And then they legitimately almost called them the East Jordan Flamers. And uh, <laughs> nice. Flamer is like a derogatory yeah, for slang gay. for gay people. Yeah, and yeah. people were like, it's even worse. You sure guy. about that? <laughs> I get your Christian imagery, but like, are you dumb? Yeah. We know you're dumb. You're, you're trying to call it, change it from the devils, which is fine. Because who gives I a think shit? The, isn't North Carolina the Blue Devils for their school or college? Who what? <laughs> <laughs> is it North Carolina? I didn't know you were talking to me. <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask James. He doesn't know shit about sports. <laughs> and no one does? I yeah, don't know. Don't know Especially in North Carolina? <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> I would think no one knows more about sports than, than you do. I mean, probably marginally. Is it Blue Devils or Blue Demons? The Rams. Or as this says, Ramses. Ramses. Put in Blue Ramses. Blue Blue Demons. Or Blue Devils. North Carolina Blue Devils. I spelled it wrong, but we'll get it. Eventually. Somebody's a blue devil. Yeah, yeah. Somebody. Is that not North Carolina? Well, no, ugly it, ass says, it says Carolina. I don't know which Carolina. What, what is that okay. fan art right there? Yeah, it looks you like it. There you go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I don't my like God. It's disgusting. All right. Yeah, so that's 13. fucking lame. What yeah. about your school's mascots? Ram. The, For everything? All of them. Uh, high school, Ram. Middle school, uh... A horse. No. That wasn't like a Mustang or a Yeah, Mustang. Mustang. Okay. Mustang. And I can only guess the uh, Indian for my elementary school because oh. it's called Black Hawk. Oh, nice. But, uh, oh, there's a technical college in my town called Black Hawk Tech. Nice. It's neat. <clears throat> for me, high school was the Knights. Middle school was also the Knights. And <laughs> <laughs> Did elementary school even have yeah. a fucking mascot? And uh, for elementary, the original one was the Trojan, and the one that it is now was the Timberwolves. Hmm. Trojans are cooler. Kind of keeps the warrior motif, I'm just saying. It was, like, kind of interesting, because, like, uh, there was a mural in our cafeteria that still had the old mascot on it, or there was, like, a kid playing in, like, a marching band or whatever. Yeah. And, like, on his sleeve it said Trojan. And that was just, like, the one link we had to the old <laughs> mascot. Nice. But t- the Todd Timberwolves are 
it's way cooler that's fair i don't know i like people more than like animals when it comes to like mascots i guess personally yeah. it's because i'm like oh wow a ram people are Original. boring like not hating on your ram, but I saw a ram was the fucking I'm, North I'm, Carolina. I'm not taking. I know you love school spirit. Darius. I'm not taking it personally. Yeah, Darius, <laughs> Darius was all about spirit. Yeah, I didn't give a shit, dude. <laughs> dude. That that was the most like boring two fucking hours of the year. Pep was, rally. You, yeah. what, you only had two hours. You lucky. It was probably fuck. more than that. I, I had an entire think. week. Every day was different. Yeah, yeah. We had like oh, events shit. and shit like that, yep. but like the auditorium, everybody in the school has to go there. It lasted for fucking hours. Yep. And it's like I don't care. Wow, we get to see the popular kids play some games. Games. Yeah, <laughs> like, see all the popular kids do shit in front of everybody. Yep, I was one. It's yeah, fun. of course you were. <laughs> it was also on the football team. It wasn't. It loser. wasn't. It wasn't as fun either for us. Yeah, yeah, but at least you got to run around. We had to right. sit in the hard fucking seats. Yeah, in the fucking hot ass room with three hundred other fucking people. Yeah, were you mad you weren't prom king, Darius? <clears throat> I never went to prom. Well, Dang. were you well, probably because you didn't get That's prom king? Didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't. I went to my senior prom. That was it. Were you mad you weren't prom king? No, I knew I wasn't going to. <laughs> I had a dumb, stupid thing where we went to Taco Bell beforehand, like because we uh, we all went as guys, like just without oh, dates. Sure. Uh, we all had dates, but like Trisha was going because it was. Uh, I think this was her senior year. I didn't go to my senior prom, um, but uh, she was like, oh, "I want to go with my friends," and I'm like, "I, okay. <laughs> whatever, <Have fun. laughs> like, whatever. It's all good." So uh, we went to Taco Bell, and then we drove to the thing, and we had one packet of hot sauce that we would just, like, fucking throw at each other. Yeah. And it was – you kept it in your breast pocket, and it didn't matter who you were dancing with or what you were doing. If a per- if you locked eyes with the person with the hot sauce packet, you had to take the hot sauce packet and so put it in like your breast pocket. Sounds like a dumb teenager thing. <laughs> of course it was, because we were dumb teenagers. <laughs> Was this long hair James? Of course. Nice. Of course it was long hair James. There's a, there's Did a you picture. come into Illinois with long hair James? Yes. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I might have cut it. Dude, when did you first cut it? You don't remember cutting your long hair? No. Uh, it wasn't a fucking magical event. It's not it like was I was for a fucking... me. I remember cutting my long hair. Yeah, but I didn't care about my hair. <laughs> but it wasn't a style. It was a laziness. It was I didn't want to spend oh. $20 on a fucking haircut. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was my girlfriend is gone. I don't need to try. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Did you go to prom, Noah? No. No? I didn't care. Prom's fucking lame, dude. Spend $80 on a ticket to fucking what? Fucking got to buy the suit. Yep. Fucking, I don't know. Fucking. Shoes. Yep. You said you can dance. Transportation, a limo. Yep. Sounds like fun. And as we are white people, it literally means just jumping in place for an hour and a half to whatever song that happens. (laughs) Literally, that's it. There was one kid in my high school that could cut shapes. And that's the only dance move he knew. That was it. What's cut shapes? C- cutting shapes is like moving your feet. So like oh. your feet move, but your upper body doesn't really, sure. you know? Is it like Dance Dance Revolution or something? No, it's literally it's called cutting shapes. I don't know what. <laughs> is that dance move? Yes. Uh. <laughs> Crazy leg like movements, no yeah. torso movements. Exactly. <laughs> Why would you not want to move your torso? It's fucking uh, dancing, dude. Juxtaposition. Dan- yeah, exactly. It's fucking visual interest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't know dancing, is. Darius. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just never heard of the cut shapes before. That's all. Yeah. It's all good. I'll YouTube it for you. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. It's not cool. Good. Uh, and he did the worm once. That's it. Damn. Good job. Pro tip. Two whole dance moves. Two whole dance moves. It's More better than, than jumping got. in place. Yeah. It's not true. Darius taught me the two-step. That's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah. You just pick up the pace, depending on the song. Yeah. That's like <laughs> literally all you need. <laughs> I only really dance at concerts. You said you only really or you don't yeah. really? That's the only time I really dance. Yeah, I don't really dance at concerts. Everyone still just fucking does the white move Jump jumping in place. Like, I mean, that's fun to do at concerts, though. Has that always been around or did like House of Pain really make that popular with literally the song like Jump Around? <laughs> no, nah, that's when you're packed in like sardines. Yeah, it's not really anything. Yeah, you, can you do. can't bust out a dance move. Yeah. You got to just <laughs> unless you're in the back in the corner. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and then people think you're having a seizure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or just so high out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dude in the back just <laughs> at glass animals. and You go. <laughs> <laughs> don't move over there it's like bro you still <laughs> got what you're on right now <laughs> security <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck 
All right, that's fun. It was a good day. It's a good podcast, everybody. I'm glad you're here. We love you. Only if you love us. Yeah. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to us. I appreciate it. Yeah, I can't believe you take time out of your day to listen to us. Can speak real sexy into the mic. Can speak real sexy. This one's for you. Always. Oh, baby. Yes. (laughs) You've been listening to The Quiet Storm. The Quiet Storm? (laughs) (laughs) I like it. I'll see you later. Should we just... Turn this into an ASMR podcast. Yeah, those everybody, are weird. I always think people who listen to the whisper videos like feet. <laughs> <laughs> like feet. Yeah, that's weird. I like I, I like what you just said there, but it's weird. But you you yeah. know the feet people, right? Yeah, foot fetishes. Yeah, yeah, I always figure if you listen to those weird quiet videos, you have some weird feet thing. Yeah, honestly, there's only one ASMR video that I've ever watched, and I like it. It's that girl who's eating a banana, and she's just like eating the banana and like smacking her lips uh. into the microphone. A shooter. H- hold up, hold up. <laughs> she looks over and she goes, "If you're jerking off right now, it's okay. <laughs> Keep going." And then she takes another bite of the banana because yeah. she's super self-aware. So she's just like, "I know why someone's probably listening uh, to this." Nom, 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 I can't nom, even like, imagine. It's like the same reason why, like those videos that uh, uh, like people make webms of like porn bullshit, and then like in the middle of them, you just hear. And like it's like, in it's in the audio of the video, so it <laughs> fucks with people who are jerking off because it sounds like someone's knocking on their door, that's and hilarious. it's like it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like got him, <laughs> like that's the modern day version of like a screamer, like in that's like a YouTube hilarious. video, you know? It's like because you don't want that moment of like dick in hand, someone knocks on yeah. your door. Yeah. If you're wearing headphones, you're just like. You, like, the, you have like 0.5 <laughs> seconds to do everything you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> turn like, off. It's like off, put dick back dick in there. Straight adrenaline <laughs> and just <laughs> hope things aren't wet. You know. Yep. <laughs> That's why the only way you can do it is if your monitors are facing your door and you have a desk that has a backer. Because then even if someone opens the door, you're like, "Hello, I'm just working on my computer right now." <laughs> and you can don't like, walk over here yet. Yeah, you you can you can like lift your mouse up and like close the window and like act like you're just working, yeah. but your pants are wide open, so it completely <laughs> removes the step. And you just hope that they don't go. I need you to come here right now. I'll wait. And you go. <laughs> I'll wait for you outside. Like, please go, please leave. Let me finish up a few things. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna save this document. Please get the fuck out Why of my room. Why is the lotion on only one of your hands? <laughs> Why is the keyboard wet? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We love you. We're so sorry. Peace. See you.